sorted it okay so hello everybody again but you're sick of me now it's like for god's sake Ellie, you're here again but this time is for free reading so you can't grumble really um because what i'm going to do make sure my, my lashes are up. um so what i'm going to do is to do the astrology signs for you guys okay so um these readings are for the 15th through to the, the 22nd of August, okay, uh, 21, just in case you see this at a later date. Okay, so I am going to record. Reading in progress. Okay, so once again, this is um, astrology readings for um, all signs for the 15th through to the 22nd of August, 2021. Okay, so I think I'm on my own doing readings today. So you've just got me, um, but you know, later on we could have more readers and you know, if there's anybody out there who wants to come on in, do readings with me, I am open to that. So I am good with it. So there we are. Okay, so yes. So let's make sure that. Ah, oh, Poncha. Hello, Poncha, darling. Good to see you. How's it all going? Are you doing all right? I'm just having to move. So she's got so much pressure on her shoulders, bless her. So sending lots and lots of love out there to you um so anybody else about i know that there's some um, two people watching while i'm chatting away i'm going to be um painting my nails because I painted my nails and then i scuffed all of them so they're looking a bit rough right now you know and if i'm holding up cards it's not a good thing to show when you're and your fingernails look so bad. I know I'm vain. I'm very vain. When I first met Greg, I did warn him. And I said, darling, I'm vain. You know, this is me. You know, you're very rarely seen me without any makeup on. <coughs> he hasn't yet seen me without makeup. He's seen me with a little bit. <laughs> I'm that vain. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not really, because it's just who I am. I've always been the same. So there. Hello, Tina. Good to see you. Tina and Concha. That's lovely. Yeah, come say hi. That's all right. We're sending you, I'm sending you lots and lots of healing energy. Concha, I know your back must be breaking um having to do all of that so i'm sending lots and lots of love to you okay so how is everybody let me know how's your day been tina and concha how's it been Have you had a good day so far what what time is it with you guys what am i doing tonight I am doing um, free astrology readings. So this is for all signs. So I did re read, do readings um, earlier. Um, but now I'm going to be doing some for um, just everybody, really. So I bet, Ali, that you are still beautiful without the makeup on your soul. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you. I look very much younger uh, without makeup which I suppose is a good thing, you know, but yeah. So it's uh, conscious time is your central time. So 6.48 p.m. The day was good and looking forward to better. Yay. So 
So what birth signs are you guys out there? Just so that I know. I'm not doing individual ones, Tina, my darling. I'm sorry. Um, I'm doing all birth signs. You can tell me what birth sign you are and I can maybe start with, with those. So Concha is a Virgo. And don't forget, well, let me know your sun, moon and rising because you need to be looking at all three. Okay, if you don't know what your sun, moon and rising is, then go to um, just your search engine and put in what is my sun, moon and rising and it will just get you to add into this chart. Um, you'll, you'll be asked your um, date of birth, the day, the location and the time of your birth and it will then give you your sun, moon and rising. Hi, Sarah. Okay, so, so Tina, so Tina, you must be in the UK, maybe. Are you in the UK? How are you, Sarah? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm doing good. Gracie, I finished your pyramid. Did you like it? I took the photograph. I want to show you what it looks like though, um, right now. Do you mind me showing you on here? I'm still in Herne Bay. Yes. Yeah, I haven't got the shop anymore though. So I'm doing readings. I'm not, I'm mainly doing readings on Zoom. Oh, you liked it? Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Okay, I'm going to show you. Ready? But I haven't done the base yet. Okay, I've got to do the base. That's your pyramid, Gracie. <laughs> Look at the, the top. So I'm sorry it took so long for me to make. Oh, good. I'm pleased that you like it. But the trouble, trouble is, I mean, it takes 24 hours for each layer, but I'm not doing all of them one after the other after the other day days because some days I don't get a chance to do it you see so um it isn't always possible to do and the first one I did it went wrong so then I had to do it all again so um that's kind of why it's taken so long because I'm still only practicing so there you go that's your your pyramid I'll turn the lights off so obviously that's without the lights on Yeah. And then with the light on. There. <laughs> What's it made of? A resin. It's made of resin. So, yay. I'm so pleased. Ah, oh, hi, Nikki. Good to see you there. Oh, it has an honoured place in your home. I'm pleased. I'm really, really pleased. So you've got all the other bits and pieces as well. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll get all that posted off to you. I'll have to let you know what the postage is, is for the pyramid. But, um, you know, I'll, I've got to make sure it's really solidly... Um, packaged up. I've been keeping lots of really nice packaging, so it should be absolutely fine. Hi, Lynn. Good to see you on here. Yeah, oh, I'm happy. Um, I've got two more. Um, one more is one is the chakra one. I've just got the the um, last layer to go on for that one and um, the chakra one. And then the other one is another one quite like I've got up here which is the gold, all the different golds, because lots of people said how much they loved that. So I've done another one. That one will be for sale, not this particular one, but one like that. 
Okay, so that one's for sale, and so is the chakra one. Have I lost weight? No, <laughs> no, I haven't. No, my bottom is still very big. Yes. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. <laughs> So sun sign, calendar, birth date. Ah, oh, you got it there. Wow. Okay. Mountain time. What does that mean? No, I can't do it on here, my darling. You have to go on to um, on a search thing and, and just type in what is my sun, moon, and rising, and then it will. Um, it will come up with a, a little graph thing and then you add that in there. Yeah, and then um, that will then give you your sun, moon and rising. Oh, that's all right. I, I kind of guessed it was you because it's distinctive um, surname. I don't know anybody else with that surname. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you, darling. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to get, get started. Um, lovely to see everybody. Um, okay, so what should I start with? Uh, what was yours, Tina? Birth sign. Yeah, let me know, guys, your, your birth sign so that I can try and... So Aries, so we'll start with fire. Let's we'll start with fire signs and then we'll do earth. Okay, is that about right? Fire signs in Earth. Okay. So, the uh, grace of your Libra. Okay. Not that down, so, it's grace and Louise is Tina. Well, oh, Debbie, hello, Debbie. Aquarius is Debbie. All right, so we've got a real mixed, mixed lot, haven't we? So, okay, so we start off with fire, the fire signs. Now, I've got to somehow find a way, I don't know whether to make this more flat, like, that. that might be better. Okay, because I've got to be able to put these, my little Ujimi Watsits out there so that you know what I'm doing. There we are. The one thing I want to talk to you about just before we get cracking, sorry about this, but it's important. <laughs> oh, good, Debbie. <laughs> um, so what, what me and Greg are going to be hosting, um, he might pop on in a minute. Um, what we're hosting is, um, it's called In 5D Zoom Love Match. It's a Zoom, um, it's a large Zoom chat. So we want lots and lots of people to join in. Okay. Um, it's on Saturday, August the 28th. Okay, 28th of August, Saturday. It's at 4 p.m. Eastern time, 1 p.m. Pacific time. What is it working out central time? That's 3 p.m. Central time, 2 p.m. Mountain time. Okay, so and 9 p.m. UK. Okay, so, um, so what we're doing is We'll give you the Zoom code nearer the time. If you let, let us know that you're attending, you can find the, um, there's a Facebook invitation been sent out. Okay, so go to the, it, go for the In5D Zoom love, love Match page and then let us know that you are attending. Okay, and, um, and then we will put the Zoom codes on there. Okay, nearer the time. You come on and you can, if you are um, single and you're available, okay, and you're happy kind of being available and out there, um, you go green. So you either wear a green 
um, sticker or a badge, or you kind of drape something over the back of your chair green, or you wear something green, or you can put in your name, your name badge thing placed there. You can put um, green. Okay, so you can put your name and then green. If you are maybe persuaded, you're not quite sure whether you're single or not, you're not quite sure, then it is that then it is amber or yellow. Okay, so you then wear, you know, like a yellow scarf or, you know, flower in your hair or, or something like that. Um, you know, anything. Okay, just you can be funny, you can wear a funny outfit if you want to. If you want to show your personality, you know, feel free. And if you're not available, but you're there just to hang out with us, okay, just because you kind of, you know, maybe you want to meet some new friends, um, just friends, not kind of anything else, then you wear red. Obviously, me and Greg are very much um, happy together, so we will be in red, okay, but you guys can choose which, which one you are. Um, we'd love you to come along uh, Saturday, the 28th of August, 2021. And it is 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. UK, um, 3 p.m. Central, 2 p.m. Mountain Time. OK, it's free and it's just hanging out and chatting. And then if you're interested in, you know, maybe um, meeting somebody, if you're interested in, in maybe one person that's that's there, um, you can private message them. There's a way to private message. And we'll talk you all through this um, in the Zoom chat. If you're a bit shy, then you can contact uh, me um, and then I will make um, communication with that person. OK, so and then if obviously they're interested in you and they want to swap their details as well, then we can swap. You know, so I can either do it for you um, if you're shy or you can do it yourself. OK, so that's how it's working. Yeah, I mean, if you're not if you want to come and hang out, you know, you, you don't have to wear it. You just have to have have it around you. Yeah. Hi, Phil, darling. How are you, my lovely? So, yeah, it's going to be a nice, nice evening. So Phil's coming on, you feel. So there's lots of friendly faces there. Some people you've probably seen on Spirit Chat, you know, and some people you might have seen kind of, you know, with me doing readings and things like that, you might have seen people. Um, so, yes, in 5D, it's Love Match, you'll see that kind of advert. Please share it to your friends, family, um, anybody that you know, you know, bring them along. It's a free event and it is, it's going to be good. There's lots of people out there who are ready to meet somebody um ready to meet somebody they, they want they want to connect you know so so there you go so um phil you're welcome to pop in if you want to and do readings if you want to do a few readings that's entirely up to you um i don't want to kind of push it on you or anything but it's always lovely i to put that there, gotta put it up there, haven't I? So how am I gonna do this without, you know, knocking this flying? I think I'll lower it a bit more. Put it like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, la, 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 la. It's difficult because I've got to get this up there, you see, so I've got to find something. Hmm. Ah, oh, come on in then, Phil. I'll send you a little link in. I think Greg's coming in in a minute. Oh, no, I don't want to minimize. Don't want to do that. Don't want to log out. No. Okay. So, is that what I do then? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let me let me find the link. Yeah. Not there. It's not that one. Go into Zoom. Right click, copy, 
you know what, me and my poor little brain cell. It takes a lot for me to think about these things. Right, let me find Phil. So you've got two readers today, guys. Link sent. There you go, Phil. <laughs> Sorry, takes a lot of concentration for me. My poor little brain cell. Okay, so I'm still trying to find something that's tall enough and sturdy enough. I've got something. Put that there. And put that there. Should put that side actually. Should put it that side. That'd be better. Hey, I think I've got it. Yes. Okay. Right, so we'll start off with Aries because obviously it's Tina, and if she's in the UK, which she is, she's Herm Bay. She's um, in the same town that I'm in or near. Um, so that's why it's better to, um, to do that now. Okay, so I think Phil's gonna pop in in a minute. Just a moment. <laughs> Close up with my eyes. <laughs> Right. Mm -mm. Amy Horlicks. Okay, so I'll start off and then um, Phil can go after me. Okay. So, hey, Vera. Oh, I feel now. Just seen Vera. We've been hanging out in the last one. Oh, not now, I'm in Morecambe Bay. Where's Morecambe Bay? I don't know where Morecambe Bay is. I can't think of that. It sounds beachy, obviously, in the bay. There he is. Hello. Hello, just a second here, I got a check. In the bay. There he is. Hello. Hello. Just a second here, I got a check. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that's what I have to do. The first thing I have to do is quickly try and mute it. Our oh, conscious says hello. So. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, past Blackpool. Wow. That's far away from Herm Bay. It's still, you're in the UK, so it's what, 10 past 1 a.m. for us in the UK. Okay, so we're going to start with Aries, Phil. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Well, I haven't got any cards popped out yet, so. Okay, so I'll go, I'll go first. Oh, this is nice. Um, we've tag teamed before, haven't we? Okay, so this is for all of Aries out there. Okay, let's see what your your week is going to be like. They're flying out the pack. Okay, so you've got a good one to start with. You've got the abundance money card, a card that says that financially um, things are magnifying towards you. So money is on its way. OK, it is it's like visualize it. Keep visualizing it as well, that money is coming. OK, this will help you immensely. OK, so it's all to do with what you believe to be true. And what you believe to be true is um, it's like um, if you believe that you are not worthy or that you um, that you've always had bad luck and you always will have bad luck. And that's all clear to leave that. Um, so even saying it. 
what it does is it brings that to you because it's gone out there as a belief. Okay, so um, that's indicating that you have abundance coming your way. Okay, so. Right, so um, our Vera is also an Aries. So Vera's in the Netherlands. So she is 2, 2 10 a.m. Okay, so the start of the week is going to feel a little bit like the opposite to what I just said. Okay, so it may start to feel as though, you know, I've got to make some decisions. There's an awkwardness around financial things. Um, work things, that, that type of thing. Um, I'm seeing that there is an application form or something that you're uh, needing to work out or, or fill out. Um, I'm seeing, you know, that it's like um, a person <coughs> linking, <coughs> sorry, linking to do with your money is kind of, there's one person that's drifting away from you. Um, it's like you're not able to kind of, um, it's like you're not able to connect with this person. There seems to be that you've been treading on eggshells around them. They've been treading on eggshells around you. And it's kind of like just not, it's not connecting. So it could be that that person, there seems to be some money issues around that person and yourself. Um, but um, the, the, the application forms, I feel will start the ball rolling, okay, with what, um, in order to balance things out. So things pick up immensely around the middle of um, the next week, um, because I then feel you've got the brilliant card, you've got the sun, okay, and the sun is happiness, brightness, um, everything is looking good, you know, you're feeling um, more, more bright and, um, and, kind of energetic okay you're feeling that way you are on a mission though to go forward with your life you are kind of having to see whether you're going to go in this direction or this direction there does seem to be a few temptations that are going to be pulling you off course the temptations don't have to be linked with love life they could be linked with you know I've got to go to work and then you know you get distracted and it makes you late or you know whatever so um, they're just a few temptations and sometimes when we're always good when we're always kind of doing the right thing all the time um, we sometimes miss out on kind of opportunities and that like I said I'm not talking about love life I'm talking about kind of like little adventures it's like do I sit indoors and watch more telly or do I say do you know what, someone's just asked me to go for a walk in the woods well why not why not it's a beautiful day um, so it's about kind of like sometimes seeing life as a bit of an adventure rather than um, doing everything um, monotonously, just to mean the same thing every day. OK, there seems to be a pregnancy announcement around um, Aries. So look out for that. Um, so this can be somebody who says, do you know what? I'd really like a, a baby or um, it could be that someone's saying I am pregnant. OK, but uh, you'll hear more about that. By the end of the week um, for Aries, um, so just to reiterate, this is the 15th through to the 22nd of August, 21. Um, I'm seeing a lot of kind of, um, it feels as if there's lots of movement in the house. Um, somebody is kind of either moving in, moving out, or you're, you're having some work done. So it seems as if there's a bit of chaos around. Um, you're needing to kind of plan things um, around, you know, a household. Um, yeah, it just feels as if it's, it's like everything is not settled to do with home and it needs to be. Now, there's somebody around you at this time um, connected to your home who they really don't tend to take anything seriously. And sometimes they can be um, a little bit, they can trample over other people's feelings um, because they're not really being sensitive to others. And there may have to be some honest words being discussed around those, um, that person. So, um, you know, but it's okay. So just to end it on the Aries, 
Uh, remember the card that I that flicked out, the card was saying, this is coming to you. So keep visualizing this money coming to you. Keep expecting it to, and it will happen. Okay. So there you go. That's what I see for Aries. How are you doing, Phil? Okay. So uh, starting off the week with the moon, which is in Scorpio, actually. So I don't know how that's going to. Um, yeah, it's not a good aspect for the Aries, I would say, but uh, normally this is going to be um, your intuition or illusion. Uh, so you have to be a little careful um, and kind of tune into your heart, I would say. And, um, you know, uh, this also could be uh, an overflowing of emotion, too. So, you know, you want to breathe is what I'm hearing. <laughs> you want to be you want to breathe through the first part of this uh, week. And then you've got, um, uh, for the middle of the week, we've got the, I'm sorry, I thought I had that down. Let's see. Four of wands. And we've got the rams and sparrows here. So, yeah, that works. It definitely is. Uh, this is a positive for you, and this is a the completion card in this deck. Uh, four, uh, you know, the four quarters. You've got your, your you're you're going to be grounding into your uh, power uh, in midweek, and then we're going to end the week with the emperor. So uh, build your empire, baby. <laughs> Aries, you got, and this is kind of a fiery. Uh, card too i mean from the look of it with the oranges and the yellows and um what is the emperor telling me here well we've got the rams um uh, symbol again so this definitely works with you um uh, Yeah, I, I'm just hearing that uh, it's going to be, end of the week's going to be pretty uh, awesome. You're going to have uh, the world as your oyster, so to, is what I'm hearing here. So it's, um, you're starting off a little wobbly and you end up pretty solid. So looks it's looking good for you, Aries. That's kind of um, matches the, the other cards, didn't it? kind of how a little bit yeah yeah it's different cards but it's still kind yeah. of mad. yeah so you know a lot about astrology don't you um, much more than i do i just uh i just read i know the basics on them um but you look into it more don't you yeah well i mean i i look into it a little bit i mean i've got this planetary guide thing that i got from lou ellen's um, so I'm trying to keep track of where the moon is and yeah, um, you know, and what's what's the transits. And I would say most there is we had a transit um, yesterday uh, for Aries of the which is um, Chiron is in Aries right now, and um, what was that? Uh, I think it was a a trine. No, it was a T square. Yeah. So yeah, the moon was kind of not playing nice with Aries. <laughs> <laughs> so this, uh, yeah, that first part of the week is not going to be so sweet, but uh, it should end up pretty good for you in the end. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Right, guys, we're going to do this Sagittarius now. Okay. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? Well, I don't know. If you're faster at this, you know. <laughs> I'll let you go first. Okay. I'm, I'm still shuffling here. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Okay. 
So let's have a look at Sagittarius and see what's going on with you. I've got Sagittarius moon, I, I believe. Sagittarius moon. I've got um, Sagittarius moon, Libra rising, and I'm Pisces. So, yeah. So make sure you guys look up all three of your signs, okay? So look up your sun, moon, and rising, okay? So... Here we go, Sagittarius, what's going on with you? The beginning of the week. Okay, so from feeling blocked, from feeling as though I don't know which way to go. You know where you feel as if the walls are closing in um, at you and you just don't know what to do? Um, that you've got, got to kind of um, focus on, you know, it's like it's like focusing in on that little bit of hope that you have to get out of the situation that you're in and then waiting um, to take that perfect timing leap of faith. That's what I see. Um, and that's what's going to be coming for you around the beginning of this week. It's after feeling blocked, it's like, that's it, I'm going to take off. You know, this is my turn. This is my, this is it. Okay, there seems to be a little bit of, um, it's like a secrecy energy around you. Um, things not being revealed that need to be revealed. You know, how can I find out more information um, about that certain situation or that certain person? So it's a bit like kind of you're kind of taking the leap of faith in a blinded way. I don't know what's coming, but it feels the right thing to do. OK, so it's like a kind of wait and see. Um, OK, so the middle of the week, uh, next week. Um, OK, so there seems to be somebody around you who is kind of sulking. It's, it's like, you know, it's like I wish this person would would grow up. I wish this person wouldn't keep, you know, throwing their toys out their pram when they're not getting their own way. And it's like, you know, life, it doesn't revolve around them. You know, everything, everybody is important as well. This person just sees it that, you know, it's all about them. Um, I can see a little bit of kind of somebody taking charge of that person and starting to kind of, you know, implement little bits of kind of, um, it's, it's like a learning curve. You know, or maybe you should think of things in a different way. Um, maybe it's it's easier. So it's like kind of dropping little bits of information so that this particular person doesn't have to um, always think that the world's against them. OK, um, so I feel as if that those knowledge that knowledge is there. Now, you're going to be around this and I feel that this is um, you, the one that is putting drop it droplets of information and trying to um, enhance this person's um, good self, you know, the good side of them they're trying to bring out. I can see some sort of training, learning, development, stepping forward, trying different things. This could be within an existing job, or it could be um, within a new job, or it could be just that you decide uh, that you want to do something different with your working life um, or, or a like a hobby and you want to take it that next step or well, this is it so I'm seeing lots of kind of research looking into things um, and um, expanding your 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 knowledge okay so as we move into the end of the week um, you're about to kind of break free from some restrictions that you still have around yourself now these restrictions can be other people's expectations maybe other people who are trying to um, trying to manipulate you in some way, okay? I feel that you have been um, isolating yourself or keeping yourself to yourself, kind of, you know, backing away and allowing this kind of uh, control uh, to take over. But I feel that um, by the end of the week, there, that is um, gone now. I wanna show you the cards that you can see what I'm seeing here, okay? So you can see, ignore, ignore my nails, they're very, very messy, I'll do it like that. Um, so this is about breaking free. And here there is shackles, it's like chains. 
okay? And these chains are literally breaking. And it's like you are then emerging out and saying, no more judgment. I'm not judging myself. I'm not being judged by anybody. I am a person in my own right. Um, so lots of people are doing this all around the world. You're going to be one of those people who are going to be standing up at the end of the week for something that you really feel very, very strongly about. OK, you are going to do it with a smile on your face, though. <laughs> so um, it's not going to be a bad thing. OK, um, it, it does feel as if, you know, you're going to feel empowered and you're going to feel really, um, really good. OK, so that's what I see for Sagittarius. Just in time, Greg's just here. <laughs> so that was perfect timing, Greg. Uh -huh. He's he just done some amazing um, new designs on T-shirts. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, Hi baby. Hello, Hi, darling. Hi, baby. Hello. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, hang on. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, there, there we go. I said get rid of, whoops, hang on, something. <laughs> are we, are we good? Whoops, hang on. <laughs> I've got all sorts of videos going on in the background. <laughs> Is everything open? Yeah, I do. Anyway, Ooh. when I said hi, baby, I was talking to Phil. <laughs> oh, no, hey, man. I ain't you, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, brother. <laughs> I love you, but not, not, not like that. <laughs> but Phil, I got great news for you, man. Check it out. All right, now, you won the raffle, and you're like, okay, we'll make a shirt. And I thought, okay, I'm going to make you something unique. And I thought, okay, well, we're in that the lion's gate energy. I want to do something like a lion, but I couldn't really think of lion colors. It, it was not enough energy in that, so I thought tiger. So I use it like a Bengal, the Bengal colors. Uh, so we have that family represented and this is what I came up with. This is your shirt. Cool, that is cool. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. So cool, I made one for myself too. So <laughs> it is really, really good. I like it. And then I also did something like this, um, which incorporates a little bit more white. And I, I like think that that's, even that's, better. I think that's a little closer to the Bengal because you have the more white in it along yeah. with the brown and the orange. Yeah. So, and then if your mom, well, your mom will be watching if she's not watching yeah. live. Yeah. Check this out. It came out so well that I'm making one for me also. So, <laughs> <laughs> but mom, this is for you. Oh, she's going to love it. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. She's gonna love that. Yeah. She really will. So. Thank cool. you. And I love your creative energy. You're all excited about getting well, back you know, into it. Every, every, you guys know, because you know, you guys work and create and make things. And you know, when it's, for me, it's, it's the unveiling when the hardest thing I have to do is stand over the sink and rinse them out and that kills my back but eventually you take off the rubber bands and you get the first peek at what the shirt looks like especially if it's a new shirt that you haven't made before and you unroll it and you look at it you go oh my god this is amazing and you know the colors are going to change you're going to lighten up once you wash it and dry it but you get that first peek and it, it's really exciting so yeah you can you can feel it and you know, I, yeah. I've got all these new shirts that are coming out in the next couple of days, and I kind of overdid it, like you're going to do today, oh, too. Oh, no. I did. Because you, I, I took a bunch of pictures, and you got to bend down and, you know, lay, lay them out on, on, on yeah. the sheet that I have and take a picture and iron them and then stand back up and put them in. <laughs> yeah, my, my stomach and back are hurting oh. a little, but I'll be okay. You're going to rest okay. now. I'm going to rest. I'm going to watch the rest of it. I just got on, too. You didn't do uh, air signs yet, have you? No. Well, we're in the fire signs still. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you just did, did Sag, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sagittarius was mine. I didn't really think about it, uh, actually. That's your moon. I didn't, yeah. But it is yeah. mine. I, I didn't think about it for me. Um, mm -hmm. Sarah says, yay, the shirt is great, Phil. So. 
going to be nice. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. So I'll, I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. Probably, uh, hopefully um, tomorrow morning. Sarah said, Bo and I love our quantum tie-dye t-shirts. Awesome. So I had her, uh, I had her come over and just pick out. Me. She went She went into my inventory and I said, you know, whatever you want, take it, grab it. Oh. Yeah. She deserves it. She's been amazing all the time. She has. She, she's, she's a human angel. Yeah. She really is. She helped me through so much. And look what we're down to now. We're just down to this. Well, hey. Hey. Fresh. Yeah. So I'm getting Yeah, there. I'm glad to see that because I was kind of worried about them sucking. I'm just figuring that's going to keep that wound open. But glad well, it's now they, what they have now is this little piece of collagen. Uh, it's like, um, well, it's, it's kind of like gauze with collagen in it. So I stick that on where the wound is. And, uh, and then, you know, put a little saline on it, stick that where the wound is, and then stick a little gauze on top, and that's it. But it's kind of funny, because Allie and I constantly, we have all these commonalities going on. Allie's been taking collagen for, uh -huh. I don't know, what, the last, you know, month or two or so, and yeah, here I am. They prescribe me collagen, you know, and, you know, but just yet another yep. similarity. It's and, making me go longer in between taking my pain relief. Mm -hmm. so. That's something. So, yeah, no more wound back. So you're able to sleep properly as well, aren't you? Yeah, I sleep so much better. I still wake up like every hour, hour and a half, but mm. I don't have to worry about getting wrapped up in those <laughs> stinking cords. So. No. Oh. <clears throat> I dragged Phil on again. Bless him. <laughs> Oh, also, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be working on another, uh, the bigger picture, because so much stuff is coming out. It's big time. I'll be doing that tomorrow, probably, uh, an another version of the bigger picture. So yeah. stay tuned. Yeah. People. That was good. I, I watched it on BitChu. That was better than the one on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. A little bit more informative on BitChu. But Allie and I were talking. <laughs> I think, you know, in the beginning when I do this thing and I put the I Dream a Genie sound effect in there with the blank, I want to have Allie do that. And I'll just wiggle my nose like Samantha. And... <laughs> it can be arranged, I think. Yeah, it'd be fun. Make it, and that's, that's part of what I want to do is make the bigger picture fun for everyone, but also informative. So it's entertainment, but interesting also. It's yeah. gonna, people are going to learn a lot from it. Yeah. I do have a question for you, which I probably shouldn't be asking, but I will. Go ahead. How in the heck are you getting bits you to load your videos? Because I cannot seem to get it down. You know what, Phil? Um, oftentimes, I have to reload the video. I have to put all that information in and again, and I have to delete the first one. Oftentimes, it won't. the first one won't go, but I have to re-upload it, and then the second one, for some reason, will go. Okay, well... I tried that. The second one didn't go either. Okay, well, just be persistent. And for anyone that that is on BitChute, you know, look for look for me, look for Phil there. Um, we both have um, accounts there at BitChute, and be patient with BitChute because sometimes it just it takes a minute for the uh, video to cycle, and it, you know, you'll you'll watch the whole thing. And it, it takes it a while to start, doesn't it? As well, all videos. Just, just not. Yeah, yeah just. Not not very long, but hey, we're able to get all of our information out absolutely there without is, getting banned. Yeah. What we need, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I was trying to get my fire dragon uh, video on there. <laughs> I wondered they they had a little thing down there about putting in my YouTube channel. I thought, oh well, maybe I shouldn't do that because I'll see that I'm being bad right now. <laughs> You've been a bad boy. Yeah. <laughs> No, you've it's been a badge a of honor. Boy. You've been a good boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's you a badge of honor. You know, many of us have been kicked off of Twitter. You know, that's a badge of honor. And, uh, you know, we've gotten our warnings and been in Facebook jail. We're doing all the right things. History is going to show that we're on the right side of history. Yeah. No, no, I just figured I was over the target and I was. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Anytime that happens, you are. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're promoting their bullshit, you'll they'll never get a strike. Sure, everyone, go out and get the jab. Yep. I, I was you thinking did. that when I go back on, I should just go into sarcasm. Yeah. 
<laughs> but can the algorithms <laughs> determine sarcasm? Is what I meant to say. <laughs> right? Yeah. The algorithms can't really determine whether you're sarcastic or not. They just see the words. They read yeah, the they words do. without emotion. Uh, what's his name? Um, David Wilcock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, he he's pretty good. He he kind of um, has a way of his own language, doesn't he? He skirts around he the words. Around it. So yeah. Maybe that's the way forward. Yeah. That my problem is that I you know I just sometimes I'll. I'll be skirting along and then I'll just drop it. <laughs> Bill, I do exactly the same. I get on my soapbox and that's my lot. I'm, I'm very surprised that I've not been. <laughs> I know. And I'm thinking about that when I upload the weekly tarot forecast because Ellie will oftentimes still get on her little soapbox sorry. and it'll get mixed in there. And I, I haven't gotten a warning yet, but. I'm sorry. I am yeah, sorry. It's okay. Uh, try. <laughs> You didn't get him burned yet, so. <laughs> you know what? We're, we're going down swinging anyway, you know, so. Yeah. Bring it on. You know, it is, this is, if you don't think there's a spiritual war going on, think again. Remember, Phil, remember uh, during the uh, elections, they said it was a battle for the your soul, the soul of America? Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's a battle <laughs> for a lot more than yeah. that. And, yeah. you know, they knew that they were going to fix the election. Whoops, yeah. I'm already saying words I shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's true. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, but that gets you banned. <laughs> it's true. It is true. But it is, it is a battle for your soul. And you're they knew that. Man. And with when the FIX was in, you know, they now they, they're kind of forcing things and mandating, which is not a law. Remember that mandates are not a law. No, um, but you know, for everyone that takes it, we're looking at hol the Holocaust version two right now. And people are so yeah. blind, they don't even see it. So They're walking straight you know, into it. It's when, and, what, what gets me is when you see these people um, going to get their thingy and there's people coming it out on trolleys or with, with ambulance people. They've literally yeah. convulsing and they're still just walking it's like just carrying on, standing in the queue, waiting for theirs. What are they like? Is that not a warning? Oblivious. Is that not like yeah. a kind of going, Nino, Nino, there's something wrong here. But well, you know what? Some I'm of these people also volunteered. Go ahead, Phil. I said, unlike the Sagittarius's first card of the, it's a sword, the Ace of Swords. So this yeah. is an original idea coming through. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all it's all starting off. I think we'll. I mean, we're going to see a lot of it when we're doing the readings. We're going to see a lot of people kind of going, "I've had enough now." Um, that's what I'm feeling is going to come out with these. Like the judgment card was all about breaking free from restrictions. Um, I, I do yeah. want to put it out there too that there are people out there that don't want to get involved that are just anchoring the energy for us. They're holding space for us. And to everyone that's doing that, thank you as well. You're playing a major role. You're keeping that high vibrational fifth uh, dimensional energy for us to help us recharge. Most likely when we're going to sleep at night and we're able to go into that, that energy that you guys are holding for us. But we, we're coming back onto the battlefield each day and uh, we're standing up and we're fighting for, 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 the, for the light. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now is just kind of holding the light for people because I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I'm, when I do get to where I can load, I'm also trying to get uh, onto Rumble. So when I get onto Rumble, then I'm going to just blather the truth. Like <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to let you guys go. I, I don't want to hold you guys up any longer. Um, Allie's got a long night ahead of her. And I'm, I'm making it longer just by being here, so. No, it's lovely. It's lovely. I'm going to do all the, um, the Patreon readings after this, hopefully, if I can. <laughs> I know. Here I go. If not, I'll have to be tomorrow after class tomorrow. Night. Sure. You have no time tomorrow. No, I haven't, but I'll, I'll <laughs> try. You can do it instead of, instead of date night, you can do it then. No, don't be silly. Have you seen Grace's <laughs> uh, Pyramid? Look. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. 
I love it. Love all the, all the sparklies. I do like Yeah, that, that's gorgeous. Good job. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. She's, seen uh, it. she's she's on the chat now, so she you know, Grace has seen it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Good job. Yay. Um, <laughs> See, creativity. Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. Oh, it does. My inner child just just uh, gets so excited. I can't wait to play with your inner child. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> and your outer child. <laughs> and anyway, on that note, I'm out of here. Bye, everyone. <laughs> bye bye, my love. love I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Did I jump ahead of you on this? Or because I wasn't too sure. I was. No, no. It's your turn now to do Sagittarius. Okay. So, like I said, Ace of uh, Swords. Uh, big idea coming to you uh, first of the week. Um, yeah. Um, watch your dreams. I'm hearing it could come that way. Uh, could be something you hear that just, oh, you know, wow. I like that idea. But uh, warning, warning. <laughs> <laughs> We've got um, the Knight of Swords. And, oh, I forgot to get the number on that, swords. The eight of swords. Now, eight, normally that's balance, infinity, uh, but this is interference. This is, uh, and I think it's coming from this person is what I'm reading here. So you've got um, a Gemini, a, a Libra, or a, da, 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 da. Other air signs, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it? Uh, Aquarius? Aquarius, yes. I don't know why I always have a problem with Aquarius. That's my north node too, I shouldn't. Um, <laughs> so it could be one of a, a male from, um, yeah, I'm hearing it's a, a male uh, from one of those signs uh, that's gonna be throwing some interference at you uh, midweek. And then uh, for the end of the week, uh, we've got, uh, for some reason, two cards for that one too. And uh, this time it's your sign, the Knight of Wands. And um, with the 10 of uh, pentacles or coins. So, um, yeah, you're going to come into some money, I'm hearing, or you're going to be, or this idea is going to lead to this, is what I'm hearing. So, uh, yeah, look at that new word. You might have some interference uh, from this guy, but uh, in the end, you're going to overpower that and uh, come out the winner in the end. So that's how I'm reading them cards. Oh, I like, like that reading. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, that's my my signs. One of my signs, Sagittarius. I like it. Yep. Okay. Well, yeah. I hope you don't have any problems with uh, a, Gem a Gemini. I doubt you would have a problem with the Libra, Libra, Libra. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Well, you know, the trouble is there's a lot of people who you know, we're not going to get on with at the moment. And that's because they've got such different belief systems. Um, and so have we. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, it is going to mean that we're going to fall out with people or have misunderstandings, you know, um, because people are getting very passionate about what they're feeling. So, right. well, and, and, you know, that interference can be, uh, and it come in different ways too. I mean, it, it could be not even anything that they really intentionally meant to do. It's just that they're, well, I mean, the Ace of Swords, you know, he's like full bore ahead. Um, and that, that's probably where the interference is going to come. Uh, Somebody is just going to be charging in there. Yeah. And that, you know, it'll create some little problems. But um, if the Sagittarius just, you know, Diverting, 
yeah <laughs> and move through that interference don't let it slow you down because you've got big things coming you've got the ten pinnacles for god's sakes <laughs> yeah yeah very nice like that card <laughs> okay so this is leo's now okay so okay. we've got leo um greg's daughter Brittany is a leo um we've got um sharon poe is a leo any more leos out there well, I know Alina is a, a Leo or in the Western uh, astrology. And actually in the sidereal astrology, I am also a Leo. <laughs> okay, so this, some of this will be for you then. Well, I mean, I haven't read myself as Leo for until just recently that I came across that fact yeah. that I've been <clears throat> in the sidereal astrology, I would be in Leo. So. okay so so what i see um around the leo energy is leo's you're going to be very much more um forward thinking and you know assertive okay now i know that you know for, for leos you can be um quite out there does that make sense with your kind of your you know you're not afraid to step forward you're not usually afraid to uh, to be noticed okay but um this goes beyond that this goes into you know taking full charge of your life taking full um um it's like taking advantage of all, all the opportunities that are literally flowing into your life at this time okay that's how um i'm seeing the beginning of the week also, the beginning of the week, I'm seeing um, this has come from a, a stage of being bored or restless. I want change. I want to get started. I want things to move forward for me, you know, and then comes the opportunity and it comes just at the right time um, that you were getting a little bit kind of um, stressed or, you know, um, pushed. Does that make sense to do more with your life? Also, I see some changes to do with the home, okay, around you, Leo. So now for some of you, it will just be maybe a bit of decorating, maybe a bit of DIY, you know, that sort of thing. For others of you, it will be moving. Um, it will be, you know, putting things in boxes, getting um, completely um, reorganized, okay? So it can be as little or as big um, to some people, okay? So... Um, but there's definitely movement and changes in the home, okay, around Leo's beginning of the week. Moving into the middle of the week, <clears throat> so, so far you've got two aces, okay, you've got the ace of wands and you've got the ace of cups. Um, so the ace of wands is about, I want to get started with something. Um, it's that spark, it's the, it's like a matchstick that has gone off under your, um, <clears throat> sorry, under your next adventure. Um, with the Ace of Cups, it can mean overflowing of emotions, uh, where emotions are coming to the surface. Now you've got it right next to the Sun card. So the Sun card is all about happiness. It's about brightness. It's about feeling um, energized. It's about, you know, things working out better for you. Linking also around a personality of, <clears throat> sorry, um, I've got tickle. In my throat. It's also around a person who is very funny, um, a bit sarcastic. They kind of like a banter. Um, they like to make uh, take the mickey out of people, um, to make fun. Um, I have to be careful because Americans don't like don't know that what that um, term, do you? And that taking the mickey. Um, Greg looked at me funny like last time I said it. It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> it's like take making fun, making fun of. <laughs> um so there's lots of um new research that i'm seeing around you guys as well i don't know where this funny character comes in um i feel that this person is going to be very significant to um to you for some people it's going to be um for different reasons so obviously we're doing lots of people we're doing leos okay so we it's it's going to be um you know there's going to be lots of different scenarios rather than it just being one. If I was reading for one person, then 
we'd be able to be more precise. Um, but, you know, this is for, for lots of people. So for some of you, this person will be very <clears throat> significant on an emotional level. Level For other people, this person is going to be so very significant um, on a, a money or financial way. I'm not sure. It, all, all I know is it's good. Um, it's a good feeling. It's a bright feeling. It's, it's an exciting feeling. By the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing lots of juggling of time, energy, motivation, um, having to be organized, having to kind of get things um, it's like a jigsaw puzzle and one piece can't be fitted in to place um, without the other piece. So it's all about kind of having to wait for someone else to finish their part of the job before you can actually move forward. So it's all about kind of trying to complete jobs or trying to get things done and finished with, but not being able to because there's somebody else who's not doing things quick enough. Or maybe there's a delay in that person's life and therefore it's it's delayed. So a little bit of frustration I'm seeing going on um, at the end of the week. There is some good news though, because I feel as if there is a lot of wishes and dreams that are coming into your life and flowing into your life. And I feel for some of you linked with your love life, there does seem to be um, somebody from your past. Now this could be somebody from your past life. This could be somebody from, you know, um, you know, maybe school friend or somebody who you used to live next to or something There's reconnections with people from the past. Um, and because it's next to the star card, I'm seeing this as wishes and dreams, things that you want, things that you're excited about, you know, things that you've been, you know, putting out there into the universe saying, I would like this, you know, I want this. So it could be that you're getting back together with an ex. Maybe that's what you want. Or it could be somebody that you feel very familiar with. It could be an old friend. OK, it could be nothing to do with love life and it'd be an old friend. Like I said, it can be many different scenarios because we're reading for Leo's. OK, so you go. Over to you, Phil. Already, uh, Leo. Well, we're going to start off with the lust card. <laughs> And um, so this is passion, courage, and strength. So you're going to start off um, in your typical hard charging, Leo kind of fashion. Um, though um, we've also got the princess of discs, discs, coins. And um, so uh, it's, it's calling to say, you need to ground this a little bit, uh, this passion that you've got for this new project. Uh, uh, this could be also that uh, you're going to be getting some counsel from a, a young woman, too. I, I hear that. That could be another way that this could play out. But um, yeah, courage and strength. Um, and you're going to have a lot of passion about it, which you normally do, right? You have a big passion for life, usually, uh, Virgos. So it starts out pretty good, we're going to say. And then we're, uh, unfortunately, we're getting this interference card again. So it just seems like midweek, there's going to be some trouble. Uh, this time, we've got the Queen of Swords. So possibly a female adversary. Um, sharp-minded woman, uh, sharp-tongued, possibly. I can see that as interference. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I'm not getting anything more on that one. Um, yeah, uh, she could be causing some trouble for you. I, I'm just saying that this is you want to be on the watch for that. And then we're going to end the week with uh, the three of uh, this or work and the uh, night of this week. So 
You kind of notice here that he's, uh, he looks battle weary, battle weary in, in this card to me. This, all, this always makes me think of, uh, you know, I've been swinging this sucker for a long time and I'm looking to the hill whether I want to really get back into the battle or not. Um, but um, with the three of discs, I mean, it is, we're, we're going to have a little labor at the end of the week, it looks like. Um, we may have to fix our passionate plan after this interference is what I'm, what I'm hearing here, is that this, uh, this interference is going to cause us to have to work into the weekend, maybe. Um, yeah, that's all I'm getting on that. It's so. Did you say Gemini again? So there's probably somebody. This so Gemini's can be because you said it about Gemini in the last one. So there's usually a common uh, theme running right yeah, the way yeah. through the readings. Are you noticing that there may be some some themes here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's that's kind of weird that they, they, they both had a, a, you know, the air sign. Yeah. That interference. So that that tells me that this is somebody that's got uh, this idea in their head, yeah. and they're just going to be hammering you with it. Yeah, yeah. And it may um, it may cause you to have to go through and rework some some plan because. You know, maybe they're right. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, this it, it's just, it's just, I'm loving the fact that it's not just me who keeps bringing up same, same energy because it's like you're getting the, the, the running theme running through yours as well. It's like there's, there's always, there's always that with every week, there's always something that, so we'll see if it keeps coming up through the readings because um, my, fe my theory is it will. Well, I'll try to shuffle them a little bit better. <laughs> it's not to do with shuffling, I promise you. It is, it's literally, I think it's to do with that. Yeah, it's like it, it, everybody's going through kind of different waves, different energies. Right. Well, I mean, I bet is, you I get the, the I bet you I get the judgment card. Not. Interference. It's, it just seems like, I mean, I don't yeah. know what else to say there. I've no, it's two, out of th two out of three times there. <laughs> No, I'm going to put a bet on. It comes up again and again and again. I put a bet on. Okay. <laughs> I, I, honestly, and I bet you the judgment comes up in mine. <laughs> Just got this feeling. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, you know what? That almost makes me think of. of this may be something that um, some official, a female official, is going to say that's going to affect more than one person too. I, yep. I hadn't thought about that possibility. Yeah, and also it can be a government thing. It can be a rule or regulation that is affecting lots of people for it to mm -hmm. keep coming up. I've noticed that too. Well, I mean, we know the the passport thing there is going to be a big problem. Yeah. If we yeah. if we don't if we don't rise up and say no, I'm not gonna do it no more. Yeah. Not, play, not playing this game, homie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we're gonna do the air signs now. Okay, so we're gonna do Aquarius and then Gemini and then Libra. Okay. So Aquarius. Let's have a look to see what's going on with Aquarius. all right so the <laughs> first card out is my aquarius card believe it or not um it's my prince of swords and the aquarius symbol is in his cravat there don't think you can see it properly really um, okay, it's not okay. a bit blurry <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's in there it's the zigs it's the, the the 
um, zigzag thing twice. Um, so there's this person, they like knowledge, they like to find out more. They're not satisfied with just kind of learning one thing um, or kind of being told something without them going away and saying, I'm going to look into it. There's something else in that, you know. Um, so I feel that that's exactly what is going to be happening um, at the beginning of the week for you, Aquarius. Being told something and you want to find out more, you want to find out what else is. Now, it's coming up with the sun card. And to me, the sun card with it means that is good news that you're gonna be hearing something good. You're gonna be hearing something that is gonna make you feel um, brighter, uh, more in control um, and being able to have more power, okay, to go forward. There's gonna be a lot of juggling about, I'm seeing kind of juggling your energy, juggling your kind of your life, um, having to juggle kind of family with work or your commitments with, with this or, you know, and, and I know that that's, we could say that about everybody, but there would have to be something more than normal. Just, I mean, this would have to be something bigger or, you know, uh, more, it would affect you more, okay? So look out for kind of, um, it's like something taking over your life um, from being an interesting subject to, um, this is li literally engulfing me, um, into this I really want to know more okay and um, for, for some of you I'm seeing links with a book either writing a book or starting to write a book or writing down some um, information okay um, needing to get your information out there so there's a lot of writing energy around you Aquarius okay by the middle of the week Middle of the week is going to be a little bit quieter. I feel that everything is going to be kind of standstill a little bit um, or near on standstill. There's going to be a, like an energy of being drained or being tired of a situation, being tired of a battle, being tired of um, how you're going to get through a certain, uh, um, a certain project or a certain situation. I'm picking up also about you having to let go, okay? Let go emotionally. And now Aquarius, you tend to hide behind that humor of yours, okay? Um, it's like you've got that kind of sarcastic kind of banter energy. Um, and this just says that sometimes you've got to stop hiding behind that and actually let out your emotions a little bit, okay? Um, it's like sometimes it's like release them let go. Um, so you're going to be faced with a little bit of an emotional dilemma um, and how you deal with that emotional dilemma um, will be up to each individual person as they go through this. Okay, so by the end of the week, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Um, now, the Ten of Pentacles is a really good card financially um, because it basically indicates that there's money around you or money coming to you in some way. Okay, now there seems to be links around a complicated love life, complication um, or, you know, things getting, uh, needing to get sorted out with a relationship that's close to you. So for some of you, it's going to be to do with love life, but for others of you, it will be linked with um, just a, a friendship, a partnership. Um, sometimes it can be a financial partnership as in a work partnership. Um, but there's going to be, it's a bit complicated and there's a need to kind of get to the bottom of um, this situation. Also, it's, it, there's an indication that you are actually um, more capable than you realise of getting what it is that you want. So try not to think about, you know, giving up or feeling as if, oh, I can't do this, you know. Uh, try not to give up too easily. Try and do everything you can to, to get past um, whatever block that you have the, by the middle of the week. Because I do see money around. I do see financial security um, or good opportunities. It's literally just around the corner. But sometimes we've got to push past the barriers. Okay, that's what I see for Aquarius.
Yeah, really. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, mine's not starting out too good just for um, Aquarius here. So we've got the um, Nine of Swords and it's in cruelty. So this is, a uh, we're letting our thoughts, um, it's like we're having negative thoughts about ourselves. And um, that's paired with the uh, Princess of, I'm sorry, Princess of Wands. So, uh, so we've got a fire sign uh, coming in here, a younger fire sign, I would say, possibly female. A uh, funny thing, though, that is a Bengal tiger that she's got in, that she's tied into. So this kind of uh, reminds me of the passion card or the last card from uh, the previous uh, reading. So the, <clears throat> you, you're going to be a little passionate is what I'm hearing here. But uh, you have to be careful that you don't uh, dip into cruelty because you, you've got a sharp mind, a sharp tongue, right? Um, Aquarius, so um, be careful there because, um, well, it, it can work either way. So, if you're being cruel to yourself, if you're being um, what I'm hearing here is uh, you could be overthinking something or, or creating a, an issue there, and um. It's it's uh, probably better to be in in your passion itself than in your uh, <laughs> hearing sarcastic mood. So <laughs> maybe that wasn't such a good idea. <laughs> they can okay, be sarcastic, so, can't they? Yeah, we're moving on to the next in the next two cards for the middle of the week. Here we've got. Um, the four of cups so we've got another four coming in here this time cups so this is emotions uh it's it says luxury with this card uh so <clears throat> and then we've got the uh ten of swords which is ruin again uh this is thoughts or um Yeah, what I'm kind of hearing here is that um, we have to be a little careful. Um, uh, we might want to throw a party or something like that. This is kind of a, a, an Aquarius kind of thing, right? To throw a party. Uh, but uh, you want to be careful about overspending because it, it's going to lead to ruin. That's what I'm hearing here on that one. So... Uh, don't be too luxurious, Aquarius. <laughs> Unless you just got a lot of money. I mean, then go ahead. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> so we're going into the, <clears throat> the end of the week. We've <clears throat> got another set of swords here. Now, this is only the two of swords, and it's called peace. So... <clears throat> This indicates that your thoughts are going to be uh, come into balance. And <clears throat> it's paired with the Knight of Wands. So uh, I see a lot of passion or fire in, in this reading, uh, both in the beginning and in, in the end. And um, so, you know, you, you kind of want to embrace that energy and, and work with it. Uh, and it's going to end up in a peaceful uh, end of the week. So uh, hold on to that through all this. Um, but yeah, you've got to be careful because there's a lot of in the mind kind of thing that's going on in this week. So you want to be um, working towards that peace, actually, probably from the get-go. If you want to arrive at it at the end of the week is what I'm hearing. So uh, yeah, work on, work on that peace, baby. <laughs> Peace and love okay. to you, <laughs> Aquarius. I love it. You need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for Aquarius, we're going to do Gemini now. 
All righty. <clears throat> Mr. T is a Gemini. I know that. Hey. The nation of the United States is a Gemini, too. For you, Mr. Trump. Not maybe watching my little old videos here. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it would be, but. I'd love it if he did. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. <laughs> we'll, we'll sing out. Yay, Mr. Trump. Oops. <laughs> I did, said that out loud, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. T, Mr. T. Yeah. Oh, I've just been watching some stuff on, on about the borders and what horrific stuff is going on there. Wow. Um, this Save can't the go on for much longer. Save, that. save the I, children. Pardon? I said save the children. That's what Absolutely. I all have to say. It can't carry on. It can't. It's, it shouldn't, it's just, that's for sure. I mean, that, I'm going to say that for damn sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, um, anyway, my heart goes out to them. All I can do is share the information. That's all I can do. It's all anyone can do, you know. But well, we can, uh, we can think positive thoughts on how it, yeah. uh, it'll get resolved. Um, it's true. But they were literally, there's this lady on there, I can't remember her name, and she was calling out for anybody who's kind of ex-military, um, that sort of thing, to go and help her and this other guy man the borders. They're literally coming face to face with the cartels. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a dangerous job. I do know that. It is. But, you know, there might be some fearless people out there who think, you know, I've had enough of this. You know, good luck to them. So, yeah, I'll try. I've shared her stuff a few hours ago. On the border, saying, uh, if you are that sort of person, hey, it's on my Facebook page. <laughs> what did you say, Phil? I said it would say, hey, amigo, you got drugs or guns? <laughs> yeah. I would beat the fucking shit. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it makes you want to. Honestly. Because these are scumbags, absolute scumbags. Hi, Jody. Um, Jody Babatello says, hello, Ali and Phil. <laughs> okay. So I'm um, going to do Gemini now. I think these cards are well and truly shuffled. Before I go off on one, I've got on my soapbox. <laughs> So, um, beginning of the week for Gemini's. Okay, so it's all about justice, okay, the beginning of the week. Wanting justice, wanting everything to be fair, open and honest, okay, in your life. Um, I'm seeing a lot of travel, okay, or talk about travel, getting from A to B. Sometimes this can be, for some people, it'll be about vehicles and cars and travel. Uh, for other people, it will be linked to um, having to organise a long distance, um, you know, kind of a, a travel situation. So um, there's new ideas, new inspired thoughts kind of, um, I know that's what I can do, or I know this is what needs to be done. So lots of brilliant ideas. There is, a, and it's linked with justice. It's linked with getting what it is that you want or getting what it is that you think is fair, okay, within your lives, okay? Now, for some people that will be, that could be linked to legalities, um, official paperwork, contracts, signatures. For other people, it could be linked to um, you know, anything to do with being somebody being fair to you, somebody being um, open and honest, you know. Um, so, like I said, it's, it can have lots of different um, meanings for each person. So the beginning, so the, the middle of the week, the middle of the week, I'm seeing um, having to be, be looked after. OK, so you need some TLC, you need some tender loving care. You need somebody to, to say, um, how are you? Um, are you doing OK? 
is there anything that I can do for you? Um, it can be that that's what you've been doing for other people. And you're mainly feeling as if, you know, it's time for, you know, things to turn around. And it could be that you now need help after giving lots of help to others. OK, there seems to be a low energy, OK, around you the middle of the week, maybe a bit of worry, maybe a bit of fear, maybe a bit of kind of turmoil. OK, and it's like I, I've got to get through this. And the, the feeling that I get is that you just need to give yourself time. You need to give yourself healing. You need to be kind of like if you if no one is around to pamper you, then you need to pamper yourself. So it's like buy if for ladies buy yourself a bunch of ferret flowers or men you know why not um you know if you if you um want to have a duvet day and you want to sit there with ice cream and and chocolate and you know whatever you know to make yourself feel a bit better whatever is your comfort there is a need to have that um the middle of the week um also i'm picking up on um a way forward and I feel that there is an opening or a chance to um, have a redirection financially and it's like I've got to decide whether I'm going to go in that direction or this direction or it could be can I possibly do both um, whatever I'm seeing here is definitely a, um, something that's major um, like a major change in your life um, now, this might not be for all of you. Some of you, it might just be that you've got to change your hours um, at work, you know, to accommodate things. Um, for others of you, it could be that you have got two different projects on the go and you've got to decide which one is more important than the other, which one is going to, you know, maybe bring you more money or maybe is going to be, um, you know, easier to fit in with your lifestyle. Um, but I'm, I'm picking up this is about... Um, you know, somebody who is really at a crossroads in their financial life and they really are having to make some legal or official changes in their life. It's coming to that crossroads time at the middle of the week, which is going to be a little bit um, worrying, a little bit, you know, stressful. OK, like I said, that last kind of prediction is going to be for very few of you. OK, it won't be for all of you. Um, but now the um, end of the week, now the end of the week, I'm seeing links around your home um, or a business prem premises, okay? Um, and what I'm seeing here is a need to, you know, also make some emotional choices and emotional decisions. So financial decisions, the middle of the week, emotional decisions, the end of the week. OK, so it's all about trying to keep everybody happy, trying to please everybody, but also saying, hold on a minute, aren't I important as well? You know, I've tried to please everybody. I've tried to be there for everybody. I've put my feelings on the back burner, but now things have got to change. And I'm now in, in that kind of situation where, you know, enough is enough and I'm going to make some major big changes. OK, so um, quite. Um, a feisty week, I think, Gemini's. Here you go. Alrighty, Gemini's. So, first card up, Wheel of Fortune. Yay, you win. <clears throat> and uh, the compliment card to it is uh, the Six of Wands, and it says, Victory! <clears throat> so, you're going to have the energy to win big on your wheel of fortune or your I mean this tells me that um, if you're uh, you know you're you've got a job that you're or something you were working on working towards <clears throat> and it's up to pay then this is this is your sign that's going to be a okay you're going to win and this the first of the week um and uh, actually, uh, this, the middle of the week isn't all that worse, really. Uh, you've got the Queen of Wands. Um, and uh, she's got a cheetah with her uh, as the 
And uh, let's see, what else can we say about him? Oh, well, hey, we've got the pine cone there. And we know that the pine cone is the third eye. So this is telling me, um, it might not be the thing that you normally want to do, Gemini, but you might want to uh, investigate um, how you can activate your third eye. Um, and then uh, we've got the, the nine of cups and uh, we, it's with the word happiness below it. So uh, yeah, things are just gonna, I mean, I, this could be the follow through for the, uh, the wheel of fortune, right? So uh, happiness and um, yeah. The third eye thing, that's, I, I just noticed that. So yeah, that might be something you're, you're gonna be working on there, uh, Gemini. And then uh, <laughs> this is just like, I mean, you guys <laughs> are doing really good. <laughs> so I've got uh, success, uh, which is the uh, six of discs. Um, and each one of these discs is a planet, one of the planets. So we're looking at uh, Pluto, Mars, Saturn. Jupiter. And Venus and the moon. So, I mean, I, I would have to look at the, um, how the chart, I mean, you might want to look into your, um, do a little investigation into your, um, your chart and see uh, which of these planets are, it, it, what it, it tells me is that, that you've got a lot of planets that are working towards your success. And uh, then the other card is the nine of this. So again, increase completion in uh, a project that's going to reap you some reward. Um, these spheres or this have uh, like different faces in them. To what it boils down to. So that's just, you know, pure coin right there. I mean, you know, can, yeah, it's money's coming and uh, hooray. Oh, and all, you guys got a good, pretty good uh, run. That's much love to you. You're going to have a pretty good week, it sounds like. At least some of you are. I can't see all of y'all, but somebody with the cards are picking up on somebody's gonna just gonna have a stellar week. Yay. Good. There you go, Gemini's. Okay. So we're now going for Libra. So this is Greg's. He's, he's a triple Libra. And I've got Libra rising. Well, I've got Libra rising, so I can. Ah. Of that's the Western astrology. I have to decide which astrology I'm going to be using. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you, my love, for all the hearts. It's because it's his reading. He's getting excited now <laughs> in the chat there. Just have a burst of um, energy from. Uh, obsidian crystal ball okay this is for you my darling and for other librans okay right let's concentrate on you guys okay beginning of the week is going to be 
about reorganizing of money um, or anything to do with money, work, finances. Um, it's like I'm having to reshuffle things. I'm having to rethink things. Um, what I was doing, I now need to do something else or um, there seems to be additional things that you're, um, you're having to get organized with. Um, I'm seeing some money being saved up, um, put by, and this is for something that is for the future, something that you're excited about for the future. Um, also, psychic ability is going to be very much um, stronger. So you're going to have that boost um, uh, within your psychic abilities. It's kind of going to be um, really coming alive. OK. Um, there's a lot of kind of um, things that you were kind of doing or achieving is going to be kind of, you know, either stopping or pausing and there's new things starting. So um, it's the endings and beginnings kind of phase in your journey. OK, um, I don't just feel that that is around your psychic ability. I think this is kind of like a general feeling uh, within your life. Um, you know, it's like um, completing things, moving forward, you know, um, you know, that it's like getting the jobs done that need to be done, okay, and not leaving them half done, okay, not stressing yourself out um, by worrying about things that you could have done easily, but you didn't, okay, so there's going to be a lot of kind of more organization of time, okay, time, energy, money. Is the week goes. The middle of the week. Middle of the week, we've got um, love life. Okay, so for some of you, okay, linked with love life, there's going to be intensity um, linking with love life. So if you're already in a relationship, then there's going to be a peak um, of energy. Okay, the middle of the week. Um, for others of you, if you're not in a relationship, then this could be a new relationship coming in. Um, and for others who are not interested um, in having that kind of um, special person, then it could be just a feeling of, you know, um, being in the family, being around your friendships or doing things that make you feel very happy, very loved and very peaceful within. Um, I'm seeing a person who likes everything um, Everything has to be done and organized. Everything has to be in its place. It's like that OCD feeling. OK, so this is either yourself who is being more like this or this is somebody um, near um, or close to you at this time. It would have to affect your life for it to be in your reading. It wouldn't just be somebody who you visited, you know, through a work situation or something like that. It would have to be it would have to be kind of very, um, very close. Now, the tower card comes up where um, that puts that person in a bad mood because nothing is settled and nothing is organized. I'm wanting everything to be organized and wanting everything to be um, set into place. Um, now, this means that somebody's crown is going to be knocked off. So somebody who once was respected won't be respected anymore. It could be that somebody is going through um, you know, is, is there's bad behavior, you know, there's, there's things that could have been handled better, okay, around this person. It's like knowing somebody likes everything tidy and then leaving everything untidy deliberately, or that's how they're going to make you feel that you've done this deliberately. Okay, um, now this could be in the workplace, it doesn't have to be in your home, okay, um, but I'm picking up um, it's like the, the personal life and the commitments that you have in your life are going to be feel very different. Your personal life is going to feel really good, but your commitments and trying to please everybody isn't going to be so good. OK, because it's all about trying to, you know, um, sometimes please both sides of our life at the same time. Sometimes that doesn't always work out. OK, so the end of the week. End of the week, I'm seeing keys, okay, around you, keys, and um, I'm seeing a list of either jobs or a list of things that need to happen or need to do, 
Um, it could be a list of kind of uh, materials that need to be um, um, acquired for a project that you've got going on. Um, now, I do feel that there is a lot of kind of a satisfied feeling of that um, you've made good decisions in your life. And these good decisions have kind of come to a point of, you know, this is this is brilliant. You know, if I if I hadn't have made those decisions at that time, I'd be in a very different position right now. So it's about being um, very proud of what you've achieved, very proud of yourself. Sometimes it's about how you have um, achieved coping with, you know, problems and situations that have been um, happening in the past. And it's like, well, now I can be, I can sit back a little bit and watch and survey um, my life from um, quite a blessed kind of um, place. There does seem to be everything is upside down. Um, and I would say right at the end of next week. OK, so as you're feeling very pleased with yourself and very um, happy and very relaxed, um, there is something that is going to it's like it's it's like everything is going to be on hold or upside down. And it is linking around a love life situation. Um, somebody who has got a complicated love life, complicated emotional matter. Um, or emotions are interfering with your tranquility. Okay, so everything seems to be just a little bit upside down. So it does feel as if there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to need to sort out, um, Librans, and it's all to do with, you know, um, keeping the peace, keeping the balance, um, and making sure that everybody else is as happy as you are. Um, and don't be disappointed if people... Um, even though you've tried that hard, that they still don't get it. So uh, sometimes it's up to them. They're living their, their life. You're living your life. You try and help people. If people don't want your help, that's theirs. It's not yours. So sometimes it's about prioritizing your emotions and perhaps stay in that happy bubble of yours that you've got um, in the middle of the week. Stay in that kind of that good energy. And let everyone else get on with it, really. So there you go. Oh, really? Um, I hope, <laughs> I'm not sure who this is for. This could be even my it's reading. The, oh, right. For Libra. I thought he was asking. No, yeah, no, I, I know it's for Libra. So we've got the, uh, the first card that came up was the um, Two of Wands, the Dominion. And the second card is the Prince of this, And um, we see that this is a very Tor Torian energy. This is a, this would be a Taurus, a young Taurian male that's gonna be bringing you some grief, it sounds like. Um, so kind of watch out for that, uh, Libra. Uh, unfortunately, the middle of the week doesn't uh, work well. I, We've got um, another wand. This time it's um, the seven of wands, which is the Valor card. And um, yeah, you're going to need Valor, uh, Libra, because we've got the Tower card. So, um, no, the Tower usually, this is just what's, you know, it's because you built something on shifting sands or you've got artifices that you're, that you're trying to prop up that you shouldn't probably be trying to trap, uh, prop up. Um, so you kind of got to let this, you know, just let it fall. Um, if it's, uh, yeah, it, it, there is, but you know, have strength. You've got you've got some power to get through this, uh, so you know, stick stick with it. And then uh, we end the uh, the week with uh, the prince. Uh, no, wait, the queen of this. Um, 
And uh, so this, you know, Quinia just this is going to be uh, an earth sign female, possibly. Uh, this is probably going to help you with rounding uh, something, rounding some of this out, especially this, this tower moment. She may help you with that. And then we've got... Um, The three of swords. Um, so we've got some sorrowful thoughts that are coming through in this. Possibly, uh, yeah. So she's she may help you with the the, the sorrow you're feeling for, from this tower moment, whatever that was. Um, Yeah, that's I get it. That's that's definitely what it is. It's whatever this tower moment is, it is going to cause you some sorrow. But remember to drown that into Mother Earth at the end of the week. So, uh, so if you're feeling that sorrow, I would say you know go out into nature. Um, take a walk in the woods, take a walk on the beach, uh, do something like that to kind of um, bring your mood up or get through that, that sorrow that you're going to feel from that tower moment. So there you go, Libra. Uh, it goes out to you. No, <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, it's definitely an up and down week for Libra, isn't it? It sounds like it, yeah. It's, mm. it's going to be kind of. Hopefully, it's not too bad though. No. Um. If, I mean, if I were doing a reading about, you know, the state, then I would say, yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Greg said, "Geez, Phil, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> hey, it might not be about you, Greg. It might not be. <laughs> Might be about me, actually. <laughs> He's a triple Libra, though. <laughs> he hasn't got another sign. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, so um, I'll have to look at my other the other signs and see how that works out. If yeah. they're bad, then I'll know it's me. <laughs> so um, oh, lining up to tell me you're gonna have a shit week. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure it's not. Uh, Tamara, we have just done, we did the fire signs and the air signs so far. Um, so I'm not sure whether to go with our earth signs or whether to go with our water signs. You guys decide. Let us know. Let us know what signs, you know, we should do next. Okay. These are what's next. Which ones of those are we going to do next? Okay, so Paige says, um, hi, Ali, just getting on now. Still have to finish work tonight and knackered. Um, it's just so full on. It is, it is. Um, so Paige said, my soulmate is Libra. Sounds intense. Yeah. Okay, so water and earth. Well, I can't please both of you, I'm afraid. So it's going to need to be, um, the first person to answer was Tamara. So, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to do, what was it, water signs. So, Tamari said Pisces, Libra. Okay, and Judy says water. Okay, so we're going to do Scorpio, okay. <clears throat> the Scorpio moon, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Scorpio, are you happy to go second or do you want to go first? Uh, no, I'm happy to go second. Okay. <clears throat> that way they can get the good reading first and then I can give them the shit reading. <laughs> no, no. no I'll take them down. You, you build them up, I'll take them down. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork, high five. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that I mean that those cards didn't come out like the ones you had. So somebody yeah, is not going to have aspects. a good week. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> There's different aspects of of the you know you know you might be picking up on certain other aspects. You know, mm -hmm. you can't do very much, can you? It's like uh, with three cards, I can't pick up on, you know, all about emotions and about finances. So one could be, I could be picking up on emotions. You could be picking up on finances or vice versa. So <laughs> it's the way it is. Okay, so, so we're going to do Scorpios, okay? So Scorpio is my daughter, uh, Rhiannon. Um, hello, darling, if you're watching this. She never bloody watches these, but I always mention my kids in them. I think it's because I get political. <laughs> Mind you, Rhea's not too bad. She understands. Um, but Megan, she goes, oh, mum. <laughs> oh, mum. So. Uh. The Scorpios. Let's have a look and see what's going on with you guys. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I haven't been reading it out. So this is the 15th through to the 22nd of August. Okay. So. Beginning of the week <clears throat> for Scorpios. It's going to be some discussions. Um, I'm hearing conversations about rerouting or moving. Okay, doesn't have to be you particularly. Can be, you know, passing conversations with other people. Um, I feel that this kind of uprooting feeling could be, you know, for some of you it could be about actually moving. For some of you it could be just that you're needing to get things um, get things more grounded in the home you know, that things feel a bit unstable linking to home. Now, I'm seeing some paperwork around you guys, the beginning of the week, Scorpios. This is about application forms. It's about putting things down on paper, getting things organised, um, you know, having to kind of complete forms and documents and, you know, yeah, it just feels as if it's... it's um, there's a lot of official things going on around you guys at the beginning of the week. Um, I'm also picking up on a very dominant person, a dominant energy, a person that likes to, you know, take charge or likes to get involved in other people's lives or other people's journeys. Um, this person can come across as being a bit too bossy or a bit too dominant. Um, at the end of the day, there's not a lot you can do about this person's energy because they're not going to change anytime soon. OK, but I really feel as if there's a lot of organisation or needing to get things organised, grounded, uh, sorted out and more stable. OK, linking to home. The middle of the week is um, the judgment card is back, um, but it hasn't been up as much as I thought it was going to be. Because um, this is about breaking free from restrictions or breaking free from things that have been holding you back, even if it's yourself. If you have been holding yourself back, then this means that you are going to be breaking free. OK, and this breaking free um, energy is going to be as soon as you break free from fear or break free from restrictions, it's going to be I'm running, I'm, I'm, I'm off. Um, I'm not going to look back, you know, this is the direction I'm going in and nobody can stop me. So it's like everything is full on. OK, and very quick. Um, I've also got um, a sense that you've got to rethink things or think about things being different, handling things different, um, doing things different, speaking differently, getting everything um, off your chest, okay? Um, but it's because it's, it's all to do with kind of not feeling as though anybody or anything can hold you back ever again, okay? After feeling this kind of, you know, this uh, trapped energy. So the end of the week, end of the week, I'm seeing again, more documents. I'm seeing signatures and paperwork again. 
Um, and this is about kind of needing to protect yourself, needing to look after yourself, needing to make sure that you've done everything that you can um, um, to, to take cover. If, you, if anybody's gonna be organizing anything, um, linking with legal or official or contracts, forms, that sort of thing, can you please double check everything, okay? Just double check and make sure that you get it all right, okay? Because if you don't, by the end of the week, there seems to be something that is going to go amiss or, you know, things aren't going to be um, going the way that you wanted to or the way that you planned it. So um, I'm, because I've now said it and because it's out there, it can mean that it will, won't happen, okay? Um, it can mean that things can be different um, circumstances can be different and things can be changing. So it's like I'm seeing two timelines here. So I'm going to shuffle the cards and go with the other one where you did all the paperwork um, to the best of your ability. And if that happens, then, then there's a lot of lot better um, timeline for you. Okay, so um, if you did that, I would say that there is somebody who is either self-employed or somebody who's kind of like a boss type of energy um, who is going to be, um, you know, it's like they're saying to you, no, you stand your ground, um, I'll back you up, I'll be there for you, you know, I'm not going to let you down this time, you know, so there seems to be a conversation happening um, and it's to do with kind of getting the justice sorted out, getting um, something legal or official sorted out and not worrying about it so much, okay, um, and things seem, seeming to be much better but the sense uh, stand your ground um, because you're right. Okay. My turn? Yes. Alrighty. So, <laughs> we're on a thing. <laughs> now the Wheel of Fortune is how we're starting the week out uh, for you. Um, let's see, who are we doing this? I forgot. <laughs> Scorpio, right. And um, we've got the uh, Heropon accompanying that. So the Heropon, um, in this case, it, 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 it's a spiritual message. It's going to, this needs to come through. This, um, Yeah, um, I'm hearing prayer. Uh, your uh, prayers are going to get answered. If you're praying, then your prayers are getting answered, is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so though this, uh, this to tie into her, um, Ali's reading, uh, this also is an authority figure. So you could be having to deal with something here with this this authority figure too. So this fortune, we look fortune might not be that good if that's the case. But for the middle of the week, we've got uh, the two of cups, the love, and it says love. So, um, If you're if you're in a partnership, this is a, a a good time to you know maybe have a date night of going um, midweek, you know, doing something nice together. Uh, and then we've got the um, six of swords, uh, which they call the science card. So uh, this is a um, you know, we're working, this is a left range uh, kind of uh, action here that was just being called for. Like you might have to work out how you can have that date in the middle of the week. <laughs> um, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm hearing that this is a just that you're you're going to be looking into some. This could be that paperwork too. This could lead to paperwork. This is um, like um, an exam or something like that. Uh, this would be especially if I guess for a younger person that's in college uh, that were. And it might be a love for science that you're having. I'm hearing that. Um, so, you know, that, that could be a good thing for you. So, you know, enjoy that. Work with it, you know, it's... The important thing is to keep that loving uh, feeling uh, for what you're doing. And then when we get to the end of the week and now we've got another major arcana, the hangman. And um, oops, the hangman, uh, the hangman, he's about um, redemption through sacrifice, um, a change in perspective, um, a suspension of action. Uh, so we're going to be at, at kind of at a pause. And we have the princess of wands again. So a passionate young woman coming into your life. And then we have uh, the three of cups, which is abundance. So um, so whatever it comes up in the, in your mind here on the science thing, um, you, you're going to have to have a change in perspective because of it, but it's going to lead to a, new, a renewed passion and abundance. So, uh, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune is turning here for you, and it, but it looks like it's going to end up to be pretty good, except for maybe um, a little difficulty at the end of the week. Uh, getting things resolved or you'll need a change in perspective to get them resolved is what I'm hearing here. But hang in there. You got a, some decent cards anyway. Could be worse. <laughs> yes, that's not what you want to hear from your card reader, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. There you go. So we're now going to do Pisces. Pisces is my mum. Hello, mum. She'll be watching this tomorrow. Um, so that's my mum, and um, it's me and Pisces. Any other Pisces out there? Uh, well, I got a Pisces else? moon. Ah, there we are. Pisces moon. And we know yeah. you're Pisces. <laughs> Pisces. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, tomorrow's the Pisces, yay. Okay, so this is for you, or for us all really, isn't it? So let's have a look. Uh, tomorrow said, hi, mum. <laughs> She'll be watching tomorrow. Okay. I think she's gonna love that that T-shirt that Greg's created for her. She's gonna love that. Okay. So let's concentrate on Pisces. Okay, so there's a lot of nagging, okay. Um, the nagging can come from you or come from someone else. And um, that's how the week is gonna start. Um, it is a feeling of treading on eggshells, feeling as if I've got to tippy toe around other people's feelings. I don't want to upset anybody. I want to make sure um, that, you know, so it's, it's about kind of having to take um, someone else's um, criticisms or taking other people's advice and not speaking out about the fact that you don't want to hear it or that, you know, you know, leave me alone. Don't don't give me 
um, all this advice. I haven't asked for it. So it's about being polite and it's about trying to stay balanced, okay? Because it feels, feels as though I'm tippy-toeing around that person. I don't, you know, it's, it's nice that they care, but it's kind of one of those feelings. Now we've got a reuniting energy, okay? So just to reiterate, this is the 15th through to the 22nd of August, 2021. Okay, we're now reading Pisces. So it does feel as if there's gonna be a lot of reconnecting, okay? It's like where people have um, drifted apart, people, you know, uh, friends or people that you care about, you know, you've gone that your way and they've gone their way you know, it, you know, it's like she said this and he said that or she said that and she said this. So it's, it's about none of that matters. OK, and it does feel as if um, it's like I'm ready to listen. I'm ready to find out what that other person, you know, is feeling, even if you don't like what they're saying, because it's like hearing things that you don't really want to hear here, you know, and it, but it's like saying, well, you know, I did ask. And, you know, I want to try and understand you, um, but equally you want them to understand you as well. So it's a, it's a two way thing. OK, but I do see that there's some good energy coming in with this person from the past or someone that you was really close to and you kind of drift away and then they're back in your life. By the middle of the week. I'm seeing that there's a lot of busy, busy energy. Um, it's like I've got to rush here, I've got to rush there, I've got to be in this place and that place at the same time, don't know how to do it, um, I've got to do this, this and this and you know when sometimes you just don't know what to do next um, because there's so many jobs that are all urgent and all of them um, have got um, a time frame to them so yeah it does feel as if very very busy okay. Um, there is, hard, there is a hard worker also around you, somebody who, you know, they're also um, hardworking, but they tend to plod, do you see what I mean? So they constantly get jobs done and they're constantly busy, but they won't be rushed, okay? Now, this person is going to be kind of saying to you, well, maybe you should take a leaf out of my book. It's like, I still get the jobs done, um, but I actually don't give a time frame on, when things are going to be completed or or what I don't put pressure on myself so it could be that you've decided to maybe do a little bit more of that you know to not actually be um you know to not be worried so much about you know pleasing everybody okay um I feel that there is a bossy person around at this time somebody who is trying to um get think get more out of you um, and pressurize you and uh, I think this is where the kind of conflict is coming in at this particular um, time by the end of the week I feel that it's um it, it's like it's a decision that you need to make now about who you please whether or not you please yourself or whether you please somebody that you know you um you know, that you care about because you care about their feelings, you're putting their feelings above your own, maybe that this, um, you know, this is sort of, um, it's like somebody is going to um, get affected and it always seems to be you, it always seems to be you who is the one that gives in or, you know, um, moulds their life. Um, around other people and I feel that this is this is a time that you can't do this anymore um, this is not going to be um, it's not going to be good for you um, to keep doing this so this is a very very poignant time that where you stand up and you say hold on a minute this is this is how I'm feeling about this um, um, this isn't fair what you're doing and I'm going to be um, making some different rules and different uh, changes in my in my life now and it might affect you but you're going to have to suck it in you know this is how it is you know tough basically um but I, I will say that there is a little bit of worry because Pisces people do worry about you know if they're not pleasing other people 
you know, I've obviously failed other people in the process. Um, but it's time to look after you. It's time to wrap yourself up in that cotton wool. It's time to put your feelings more out there, you know, because it's OK for you to put yourself first sometimes, because at the moment it's been never. So um, that's how I'm seeing Pisces. There you go. Hello, Donna. Uh, Hello, Rose. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Pisces. We we're starting off with the cruelty card here. Okay. We got um, it's uh, Mars and Gemini, are the signs that are associated with it. So what I'm hearing in this is um, it's it, it's going to be cruel words or cruel thoughts that are being either directed at you or that you're directing out. Um, I'm saying that it's probably going to be directed at you because we've got it in conjunction with the, the pool card. And the pool card is about taking a leap of faith, about being carefree and, and taking, you know, stepping off the cliff, going for it. You know, you're, you're the beginning of the hero's journey. So you might have some uh, thoughts, you know. Oh, can I do this? Can I, can I handle this? Uh, am I up to it? You know, th th there's that could be the kind of the cruel thoughts that are coming in on you, uh, but you need to kind of embrace that that hero's journey and take the the forward leap. Is what I'm hearing for the first part of the week. There, um, trust. Have faith in that uh, you know the universe has got your back when you take that step. That there's going to be something there to step upon. All right, and then we go um, <laughs> to the middle of the week, and uh, wow, what can I say? But we have two major, not one, but two major arcana coming out. Um, the first one is the Aeon, uh, the twentieth card. So um, this would be, I think, akin to the sun and other uh, decks. It's a uh, yeah. I'm hearing that you're going to have some. This is a, a vision card for you. The vision of the new aeon coming through, uh, the age of Aquarius. Uh, you're you're going to see into that. You could possibly see into what that's going to be about, and uh, it, it's paired with the Hierophant. Uh, so this uh, Pisces, I'm going to say, is uh, that you're being called with that vision to bring forth the uh, sacred message. Uh, that you'll get uh, from that vision. And then um, over the end of the week, we've got swords again. <laughs> uh, this time it's the seven of swords and it um, says futility. And then often when we get too much into our head, into our thoughts, uh, they can lead to futility. So um, that's something you want to watch out for. Then we've got, um, to go with that, we've got the art card or temperance. Uh, so this is about a combination of forces. This is a, a coming into balance. So that's, um, yeah, that's what I would say here. Um, and then we've also, Got the, I mean, just a lot of all major arcana in this reading, damn near. <laughs> so we've got the Hierophant, or the, excuse me, the Hermit. So this is an introspection going within, um, retreating. Um, maybe you want to go over to your cabin up in the mountains <laughs> and, uh, you know, contemplate your navel at the end of the week, is what I would say is what it's being called for and then i mean and it could tie in with that uh the art card too is uh, 
taking a retreat and um, you know working on yourself on your own inner wisdom is being called for Pisces. Um, but yeah, major arcana all the way through that reading. So wow, big forces working for you, Pisces. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got um got a lot going on emotionally, haven't we? It does I sound think. like it, yeah. It's gonna um, be a I'm having yeah. a bit of a juggle around. Um, so that's that does ring so true to me because you know it's kind of like you feel as if you've got so many commitments, you're kind of um not being able to um to fulfill everything that you've committed to in the way that you want to. So sometimes it's like sometimes you've got to eliminate certain things and kind of slow down so that you can actually have more quality um, quality of life and you know be able to please more people in the long run by saying I'm sorry I know I said I could do this but I can't does that mean so I'm kind of doing that at the moment so all of that makes sense to me yeah so I mean but, but you know it's uh with that art card there that's uh, you know combining forces and you can kind of mesh it all together and uh, come up with a, you know, a, a, some inner wisdom out of, yeah. uh, out of all this. So it's like reorganizing, say, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, just work on it. And it, it's a little retreat is going to be needed for you, I would say. Yep. I did it. There we go. So it's Cancerians now, guys. And then um, and then after this, we've then got three left. Uh, we've got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn after that. Okay. So let's have a look and see what's going on with Cancerians. This is my other daughter, Megan. Um, so, Meggie, this is for you. I've just thrown the cards everywhere. Yep, that's it. <laughs> that's how you do it, obviously. Oh. Here we go. Hello, my love. What do you want? Sorry, it's pussycat time. <laughs> yeah. He had to come in some way, didn't you, Mo? Here. Yeah. <laughs> do you want this? Want sweeties or not? Yeah. Yeah. Want some? Yes. Yeah, I've got a cat now too. Have you? Well, she adopted me. She's been outside. Oh. She just came over and started feeding her. And she's, I call her a sea cake, calico kitty. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't that lovely? Yep. Except when, uh, when she first came, she was clawing the hell out of me. <laughs> was she? Yeah. I was just trying to so feed her food. To know you. Yeah, no, she's getting to where she's a little bit more friendly towards me. Yeah. And she will come inside for a little bit, but she won't. If I close the door, then she wants right out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Soon she'll be a lap cat. <laughs> I won't want to go out at all. Don't drop my cards everywhere. I'm just about <laughs> saved my cards then. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so Cancerians. Fluffy nose. Okay. So starting off, Cancerians, with the sun. Um, so the sun energy is, it makes you feel good. It makes you feel bright and cheerful and light and fluffy, wonderful. Okay, there's going to be a little bit of rearranging to do with money matters or work matters, time and energy. Okay, so it's about kind of juggling that. It's a bit like what we were just talking about 
um, or what I was talking about <laughs> regarding um, wanting to have more you time, wanting to make sure that, you know, you pleased everybody, but made sure that you actually took some back some time for yourself. Um, so I'm seeing this, um, you know, these decisions uh, stirring up around the beginning of the week for Cancerians. So this is the 15th through to the 22nd of August, 2021. Um, there's gonna be a strong psychic feeling around you, um, being able to, um, to feel more um, in the way of psychic energy, um, being able to um, maybe predict things that you, um, that is things that are gonna come up, things that are gonna be around you, uh, things that are going to be around other people. It's a bit like getting that information, but be, um, feeling too kind of shy or anything to actually give that information out. And then when it starts to happen, you go, I wish I'd said that because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so I feel as if this is going to become more and more um, prominent in your life. Okay. The psychic ability. Okay, so lots of big changes. Okay, lots of shifts and lots of kind of, um, it's like things will not be the same anymore, okay? It's like endings and beginnings are then gonna be all the way around you um, the middle of the week. I'm seeing a lot of changes to do with your home, okay? Um, the home life, home situation, there can be, um, it's like for some of you, I'm seeing furniture um, being taken out and saying, I don't want that anymore. OK, so it's like either selling something or getting rid of it. Uh, for others of you, it will be more like kind of um, having a lot of changes in the house, um, you know, that that are going to um, make the place look very different. OK, it's like changing the dynamics of your home um, or your home life where, you know, this was the usual, but now it's not the usual because this is now the usual. So. Um, it's having to adjust um, either for yourself or it's for people around you. Um, and, you know, obviously this is the big changes that are going to happen um, around. And that's why the changes are going to affect you because it's so big. OK. I feel that you're going to have to put on a hard kind of shell around yourself because I feel that their emotions are going to be very, very strong. Um, it's like I don't want to get upset about this because I want to be I want to be um, supportive and I want to be um, sure of of this decision that has been made. Um, but part of me doesn't feel so strong and self assured. Okay, so lots of rising emotions. Um, it can mean that somebody is either moving out of the home or moving into the home. There can be um, people um, shifting about, okay, within the home. So, yeah, lots of disruption there. Doesn't have to be bad. So for some of you, it would be nice. And for others of you, it will be um, more in a, of an emotional roller coaster. Okay, so by the end of the week, um, we've got a kind of a party feeling, a celebration, achievement, you know, people say, well done, congratulations, I'm so happy for you. You know, that's good news. And the hangman is all about kind of everything has to be done in its own time. So things have been upside down, things have been in turmoil. But now that everything is sorting out, now that everything is getting back into the, a rhythm, um, that things are good now, okay? Um, there does seem to be somebody who is showing signs of being insecure or needing some TLC, needing some more attention. And I feel that this person, um, it, it, it could come across as being jealous, but it could come across as being insecure. Um, and uh, this person can, um, can and does sometimes lash out um, and try and get attention that way by, you know, bad behavior and uh it's like shall i uh, play shall i allow that person to to play me or do i just kind of um try and deal with this situation another way in a more diplomatic way either way um, this person is going to show you signs of being um insecure okay so there you go
Kiwi? Leute, Cancer. So, um, you've got the Ace of Swords uh, to start out the week. So this is an inspiration or a, a good thought. Um, yeah, I'm hearing um, inspiration. Uh, you're gonna have an inspiring thought uh, the first of the week. Um, but you have to be a little careful here because you've got the um, nine of wands. Uh, so this is like a, a Well, it says strength, so you're, you're solid. You've got the sun and the moon on that, that central wand there. So, uh, you know, the sun's always good. Uh, moon can be, uh, it's reflective. It's, you know, it's, it's the female side of that, of that sun energy, right? So uh, what I'm hearing here is that, um, Yeah, this idea might be about uniting um, those two forces. That's what I'm hearing here. So you might really have a, a big thing coming up here for your cancer. And then, um, but <laughs> then we get to the middle of the week and that doesn't look so good. So we've got uh, indolence and debauchery. So this is like a, an overflowing of... Um, Word, uh, dramatic uh, emotions. Uh, you know, getting too um, emotional, too wrapped up into it, and too uh, yeah. You just in, in, you're going to have to be a little uh, cautious or a little. Uh, tempered in, in your, like any kind of parties or anything like that, it, it, you've got a, pro, a, a possibility of like going to excess and becoming uh, depressed because of that. So, um, but uh, I think you're gonna get to it fine because we've got not one, two, but three <laughs> different major arcana so we're we've got the emperor and the empress to start off with so this this tells me that it's about um balancing the div divine male and the divine female within yourself and then we've got the hierophant so that's a, a spiritual message or messenger or it could be a, a person of authority too of course um all of these are uh that's a person of authority right i tend to think of uh the empress as the earth mother so mother earth um that kind of energy so again yeah and i am hearing that, that this is a, a sign that we to kind of end the week um in nature connecting with Mother Earth, grounding into her. Um, and uh, try to be generous. Um, and um, So this may be that you you're gonna you're gonna come into some spiritual insights, or you're gonna receive some spiritual insights at the end of the week. It could go either way. There is what I'm hearing, um, but you know, be on the lookout for it. So all in all, it's gonna you're gonna you've got a lot of good power and good energy for the end of the week, even though you kind of have a, a little mess up in the middle of the week. But I mean, and you, your thoughts are pretty good to begin the week with. So, you know, I'd, I'd say 
um, try to weather the, the middle of the week there. You're starting out with good energy. You're going to end with good energy. So trust that uh, whatever. If you mess up, you know you mess up. Don't get too upset about it is what I'm going to say on this one. They're ready. That's it, Cancer. Have fun. Thank, thank you. But not Bill. too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> This is good teamwork. So we're going on to, we nearly finished, Phil. This is the, quite a quick one, really, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it seems to have flown by. They're flowing pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that properly. Taurus there. Is that better? Yeah. Ah, Taurus. Taurus. Okay, so we've got Elaine in the chat there. Tamara, Elaine, Gracie, and Desiree. Who else is about? We've got 10 people. Donna Rose, Lisa. Um, who else is there? Anybody else in the background? Paige, Judy. Concha, I don't know if Concha's still about. Concha, we're doing Virgo, darling. Um, page Concha is a Virgo, so but we're going to start off with Taurus, okay? Taurus, then Virgo, then Capricorn, okay? Okay, we'll do we'll do Virgo first, then. Ah, uh, and my love's still here. Aww. So, Virgo, we we'll do Virgos for you, Concha. How's that? That sounds all right, doesn't it? So we do. Oh, hold on. I've got to play about with my little Ujimi WhatsApp. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I, I, I'm going to just go back. <laughs> Could get banned for all the different reasons, you know? <laughs> Okay, so we'll start off with Virgos then. Then we'll do Taurus and then we'll do Capricorn. Unless somebody comes up and says they're Capricorn. <laughs> so, you just so we're doing Virgo go. now or what are we doing? We're doing Virgo. Oh, okay, yeah. we're doing Virgo because Concha in the chat is a Virgo. Okay. So let's have well, a look and see what's happening. And that's also my Western astrology sign, sun sign. So. Okay. Right, consciously. Here we go. This is for Virgos. This is for the 15th through to the 22nd of August. Okay, the beginning of the week, you've got the world card. Okay, um, so there's going to be a mixture though of tears and emotions or rising of emotions um moving forward with the wheel of fortune and then we've got the world uh, which means that everything is is better than you thought better than you imagined or you know your worst fears have not come true um this is now what's going on so it may be it's like i'm seeing a roller coaster of emotions from one um from one side of things which is kind of feeling tearful and then it's going to start building building up until you get to um you know i would say tuesday um wednesday maybe um you know things things are going to start to kind of really start turning around and um the good stuff is then going to start to come okay um so the middle of the week the middle of the week, we have um, juggling of money, juggling of time, juggling of circumstances. So um, everybody, everybody on this planet usually juggles everything. Um, but this would have to be something in particular. OK, this would have to be, um, you know, um, having to do something um, to get organized, having to, you know, move money from here to here and it being 
a very strong kind of um, feeling of of having to get organised. It's not it's not a it's not a oh let's get organised kind of feeling. Okay, um, but it is linked with your psychic ability. You do have this kind of feeling of you know I'm in charge. You know, and I can um, put um, put good stuff out there, good vibes out there to get good stuff back so it's about manifesting it's about staying true it's about concentrating on what you what you really want rather than what you don't want or what your fears are okay that's how this is this is going to um, feel to you there's going to be a lot of moving energy around you we've got the chariot which can mean literal moving and i know concha is moving um, this can be for other people, it can be about moving forward, moving on. Um, with the black and white horses, sometimes with the chariot, um, it's like, I don't know whether, whether I'm going in this direction or this direction. You know, am I going to stay on my true path or am I going to go and be tempted to go into a different direction? Or maybe it will be adventurous to go in a different direction. Maybe it was going to go in this direction, but now I'm going to change my mind. There could be some changing of the mind, changing of the direction of, of your kind of plans. OK, um, but, you know, this is all to do with kind of this new juggling of money, juggling of, of energy and finances. And the end of the week um, for Virgos, um, the end of the week, it's about kind of trying to stay um, in that happy energy or in that fun energy, that kind of um that sarcastic, what will be, will be. It's like not taking things as seriously as you have been or as you could be. Um, but it's, it is about kind of, you know, dealing with things that you need to deal with and laughing at the things that you've got no control over. It's like, what is the point of me stressing and worrying about that? I haven't got any control over it. So why don't I just deal with the things that I can deal with um, be more um, uplift, uplifting and concentrate on, uh, on um, bringing to you and manifesting to you the good stuff, okay? But it is about letting go. There's a lot of letting go of feelings, a lot of letting go of emotions, um, trying to, and trying to do it with grace and maturity rather than feeling like a child and throwing your toys at your pram saying, it's not fair it's not fair, it's not fair, um, you know, it's like saying sometimes, you know, I'm going to look at this, the bright side of things, and I'm going to see that there is a better opportunity out there for me, and the world is leading me in that direction, um, my life path is right ahead of me, and I'm ready for that adventure, um, and it feels like there's a lot of busyness around you, um, and I feel that this is kind of stirring into and building up into the following week as well. So this is between the 15th onwards. OK, a little bit uh, more for, for you, Virgos. Um, it's also about not talking to somebody or communicating with somebody, somebody not communicating with you, somebody you not hearing information that you want to hear or you need to hear. And this is about moving and changes to do with your home. OK. So there you go, that's where it goes. Alrighty. So somewhat similar, but a little different, of course. We're starting off with the oops, the Magus. And as you see, he's got uh, he's a master of the elements, right? This is a you're in your power. This is the uh, second step in the hero's journey. And this is um, manifesting, making it happen. Uh, you've got the, the alchemical ability to transform whatever you need to transform. Uh, they, you, you've got the three of wands here, which is the virtual card. So that, you know, don't uh, keep your intent pure uh, is what I'm hearing uh, with this one. 
because uh, you know the magician he, he j gauged the magician by his intent by his will what is what is he willing is it, is it for the good or is it for the bad so this is saying that be sure that your your magic is for the good and um then moving into the middle of the week we have um uh, Ten of Cups or Saiety. So we're satisfied. We're, we're emotionally satisfied with what uh, the spell that we've, uh, we started out with in the middle of the week. And uh, it's married with the, uh, the Emperor. So, you know, Emperor, that's abundance, that's generosity, that's. Uh, You know the master builder so uh, this is it's going to be a good good week for getting things done and accomplishing things like a boss you know it's, it's this is the, the boss card right this is i'm i'm in charge uh you know so you know take charge and um you'll be satisfied and then we're going to end up the week with um, six of this again, success. So success for that spell. Um, you now we've got uh, the queen of this and the Princess of Swords. So, Virgo, this could be like uh, you're getting a Some new ideas from a, a, a younger female person, a, a, a grounded person, or we've got the queen of this, and she's looking off into the the desert there, right? So she's in contemplation. This is um, telling me that you are going to be. Um, Kind of having a little bit of a hermit moment through part of the day uh, uh, at the end of the week there is kind of assessing how did this how did this all work did the spell work did i um get it did i accomplish what i want so you're you're looking for your results here and um so i would say all all in all it's pretty good uh Virgo. you got the magic and uh, we're going to manifest the empire out of it and success. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I can't see anything wrong with that reading. <laughs> nope. So good. There, guys. There, guys, are very good manifestors because they can really think ahead and plan ahead. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going on to, no one's claimed to be a Capricorn, so we're going to do Taurus, <laughs> so. Taurus then, okay. Taurus. Okay. Taurus that rounds, that rhymes with Horus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's the hawk headed, so I guess that doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Taurus guys, this is for you. Okay, beginning of this week for Taurus. Um, it's all about celebration of love, okay? 
is finding love in the small things, finding love in people um, that you you come into contact with, um, feeling the love vibration energy when you meet a stranger or when you know there's people around you, you know, in your family, in your kind of just taking that step back and looking um, at your uh, at what is going on. Okay. Sometimes we miss these things and sometimes we're, we're quick to kind of say all the things that we don't have and we're quick to kind of, you know, um, you know, it, it's like we've got to be in the moment. And I think this is what this is about. Um, this is how you're going to be, is living in the moment, enjoying each moment. Okay. And um, there's going to be a lot of reconnecting you know, reconnecting with um, people, uh, reconnecting with life, reconnecting with your higher self, with your psychic energy, with your spirit guides, with people who you haven't seen for a long time, even new people, there's reconnections, okay? You're also gonna be in a situation, uh, Taurus, that you are standing your ground when you know that you are right when you know that things are should be this way when they're that way okay and it's like well I'm not backing down but I'm not going to get in an argument either it's kind of I'm just going to stay in that kind of just neutral position okay um but it is still in that love vibration okay so very tranquil start to the week for you Taurus so stepping forward okay um, and trying something a bit different. Um, this feels as if it's like, um, I know, I've never done that before, I'm going to try this, or, you know, maybe this approach is going to work better than that approach. Okay, um, it's about sometimes also putting up some boundaries, and staying in that good vibrational energy, and not allowing other people to come and destroy that energy somehow. You know, it's like saying, you know, I, I don't want to be, um, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want somebody to, that can come in and my, um, my good mood is then turned into a bad mood because you have dumped your stuff onto me. So it is all about kind of your own energy. And I feel that that's going to be very prominent. It's about understanding your own energy and understanding what you want to concentrate on what you don't. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of um, it's very deep spiritual things I'm seeing with Taurus. Now, obviously, Taurus is an earth sign. So usually earth signs, you know, they're, they're kind of very practical. Um, so you are going to be dealing with your spiritual side of life in a practical way. OK, which is going to be um, very unique. Um, you are putting out your dreams, um, your wishes, you are putting out what it is that you want to manifest. So the universe is just um, telling you it has your order. OK, so if you are have been changing your mind back and forth, then be careful because the un it's like they are taking a, a message from you um, at a certain point and if you have been, you know, one minute saying, yes, I want this, and the next minute saying, no, I don't, you don't know which one it's been listening to. OK, so um, just keep keep your uh, wishes very clear um, and very kind of um, upbeat. OK, and watch out for numbers. OK, as well, especially kind of one, one, one and kind of the angel numbers, two, 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 three, three, three. Watch out for those ones. Um, because I think that you're going to see quite a few, okay, at this time. Um, so the end of the week, end of the week is, um, there seems to be, for somebody, there's a new job. I'm starting a new job, or there's promotion within my job. Um, I am, you know, you know, earning more money. There seems to be a change in my financial structure. Um, I, I have just started a new business. I'm self-employed now where I wasn't. I'm hearing kind of lots of different statements like that. Now, obviously, not all of these are going to apply to each person. 
So I'm seeing quite a few different scenarios. Um, but the, the gist of it is new money, new beginnings, um, you know, being better off and breaking free from restrictions that you have been kind of facing. OK, it's like no longer I'm feeling these restrictions, no longer am I feeling suppressed or being held back. It's like it could be that you've decided to break free from restrictions and say no more. OK, um, you know, we did, we've got the judgment card back um, again here. OK, with the breaking free. OK, and it is linked with work, money, finances. Celebration card. I'm seeing cuts, um, somebody kind of raising a glass saying congratulations. You did it. OK, so I'm seeing kind of a party feeling around you and um, celebrations. Um, it's like, it, you know, when it's like you're proud and you're showing off uh, what it is that you've achieved. I'm seeing lots of that energy and they are showing me keys to open new doors. OK, they're just giving that as a cryptic energy. Keys to open new doors. There you go. So that's Taurus from me. All righty, Taurus. Um, starting out the day, the week, big time. We've got the chariot and the art card. So art, uh, combination of forces is also temperance. So it's uh, being um, tempered, you temper still by heating it up and then cooling it off quickly. Um, so this, this calls for um, transformation that's being called for. And um, you've got the chariot, that's movement. Um, uh, you might, uh, I'm hearing you might be taking a trip, uh, maybe a vacation. Yeah, the vacation and taking in some uh, culture with, uh, with these two cards. So midweek, um, so that's a good, pretty good start for the week. You know, we're, we're going to be taking a little trip. And uh, yeah. And then uh, the middle of the week, we've got another major arcana that uh, well, actually, these two major arcana on this one. We've got the High Priestess and uh, the Lust card. So this is strength, passion. Uh, The priest is the high priestess is um, like an oracle. This is a a very intuitive woman. Um, akin to the, the 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 female aspect of the the magician, right? Uh, this is the third card in the hero's uh, hero's journey. Um, so if you're a female, this is you. This is your uh, your to tap into your uh, intuitive pa uh, power. It's being called for, um, and remember that you've got all the strength and courage that you need uh, in this endeavor. So, uh, and if it's if it's a male, uh, then this is uh, telling you to connect with your animus and come into uh, be open to uh, those those messages that are coming through. And then we're going to end the week with the uh, three of wands, uh, virtue and the Knight of Cups, so a male of the 
water signs, uh, Pisces and um, Cancer. Water signs, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Yeah, Scorpio, yeah, that's the, the other one I was thinking about. So this could be that person. Um, yeah, so that could be coming into your life there. Um, if you're uh, uh, either as a partner or as a, yeah. So that could be a, but you want to make sure that he's virtuous. <laughs> if that's the case, if you're a female tour, um, Taurus and then you want, uh, you know, an emotional male, that's somebody that's in, a guy that's in touch with his emotions. So, you know, hey, it could be good for the female. I guess it's okay if you're gay too. <laughs> um, And we've got the Queen of Swords, too. So th this almost makes you think that we might have you might be uh, attending a wedding. <laughs> I just got that hit, too. Uh, there might be something going on. Now, that's where the trip is for. You know, this, you're going to be going to a wedding. At the end of the week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I, I think that that's what the way to interpret that. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, thank you, Phil. Okay. So um, this is the last one um, now. So we're going to do Capricorn. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Go back, see who's still about. Who's still about? Have we sent you all to sleep yet? That's what we need to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, those of us in the United States shouldn't be sleeping just yet, I don't think. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Mind you, on the East Coast, it's quarter to 11. Oh, really, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Elaine's still here. Yay! Greg said he's asleep. <laughs> he's sleeping? <laughs> he's joking. Right, Capricorn. Here we go. All right, so let's see what's going on with Capricorns. Capricorns is an energy um, of perfection, wanting to get the job done to a high standard. Okay, now this can be your own work, you know, maybe somebody's doing that for you. Um, maybe you're doing a job for someone else. Maybe you're trying to get things done in a, in a really precise way. I don't know. Um, but it does indicate that you're kind of um, the energy that you're giving this will pay off because we've got the feeling of, you know, after the worry or after the, the stress of it is, is actually a big, a big um, it's like a successful feeling because we have the world card, which means that things are going to turn out better than you think. Okay. So our Donna's still here. She's having a glass of uh, wine. <laughs> so we have people still around. Um, yeah, so it feels as if, you know, there is somebody around you at the, at the beginning of the week who seems to be quite tearful, quite emotional. And, you know, there's a need to kind of get this person to feel better in some way. You know, it's like you want to please this person. You want to make sure that they are happy as well as yourself but it is linked with 
getting things done um, to perfection. Okay, so the middle of the week, there is a sharp tongued person around somebody who can be um, a little bit two faced. Okay, and I feel that this person, you, it's like you think you know where you are with them, and then they start to be different, they start to act different, they start to speak different, they start to, so it's like their personality um, goes into this big change. And I'm seeing that you're in a good place, okay? So this person can't really get to you, okay? But you don't want them to upset anybody else um, close to you. So it's like you might be able to keep on this high vibrational energy, um, but when it comes to other people, you're gonna get more protective, you're gonna to start to kind of maybe uh, talk to this person who has got two sides to them and give them a little bit of a warning. It could be that you don't have to say anything. Sometimes it's just a look um, that is like saying, I'm on to you, I know what you're about, you know, don't think that you can pull the wool over my eyes um, because I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna stand up. It's like being a protective brother energy or protective kind of um, friend, okay? That's the energy that I'm seeing around this particular person. But you are being able to stay in this kind of like um, bubble of I'm good, you know, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I just want everyone else to be happy as well. So the hermit, the hermit um, at the end of the week can mean that sometimes we spend too much time alone or too much time in our own head. Um, for some of you, it can mean literally it's just talking about the home, you know. So some people it can be spending too much time. Some people, they just want more time. OK, so there's two different kind of um, pathways here. Um, one is linked to having to tread carefully, had, having to make sure that everybody is OK um, whilst somebody is nagging you or someone's trying to tell you what to do trying to organize you, trying to um, be, um, it's like they're trying to make you um, into somebody that you don't feel that you are at this time. Um, now, this could, this, there could be somebody who's nagging um, because somebody is spending too much time on their own um, and they're worried about them. You know, maybe this kind of worry is, um, there's, a, there's a reason, you know, that this, this person does need to come out of their shell a little bit more. Um, the tippy toeing around situation means that sometimes you could be at risk of upsetting um, that person, you know? And if you are at risk of upsetting that person, sometimes there's a good reason why you're doing it, you know? And it's okay sometimes. Sometimes it's like, well, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's because I care. And it's, you know, and because I care, I want you to be happy and you don't seem to be happy. So it's kind of like withdrawing away into yourself and, um, you know, needing to be uh, maybe a little bit more out there. Um, so if it is you that you feel yourself that you're spending too much time on your own, um, then maybe you're nagging yourself. It could be could be that. Um, trying to please people uh, by tippy toeing around other people's feelings. Now, this isn't gonna go down um, too well with your higher self, because your higher self is saying, you know, um, what about us? Are we gonna be, you know, happy? You know, don't we deserve to be, to be in um, our safety cave? Okay, so, but sometimes our higher self is in our safety cave um, to, um, it, it's like to hide away. It's like a higher self says, we wanna hide away um, so that we don't have to confront this or we don't have to deal with that, you know? And that's not always, um, it's not always a good plan, is it? So, you know, sometimes we have to push past that and sometimes it takes other people to nag us until it's done, until we, we sort this out. Um, I do feel as if I'm talking about there is um, weighing up of two jobs or two work situations that may be coming up um, for you at the end of the week. Um, and I feel that you're going to be weighing up, 
it's like the pros and the cons and writing the list you know that old-fashioned well if I did this um what are the good points and what are the bad points you know so I think it's down to kind of just being very practical um to decide whether or not this uh, new money situation that you're about to head into is going to be good for you or not good for you um, also, I'm seeing rerouting, moving and changes um, either being discussed or actually happening. Now, we do have the magician card with it, which does indicate that you have all the tools to make things work out. OK, everything seems to be going in the right direction, um, you know, but sometimes we have to kind of make these big decisions in order to keep the energy flowing. Um, into the right direction so that you can um, it's like keep keep things being abundant keep things kind of renewing in our life rather than the stagnant energy and I do feel as if either you are being the person who's in the stagnant energy or somebody close to you is in the stagnant energy and you're trying to coax them out of it so that's kind of what I see um, for um, Capricorns. And I don't know where Phil is. Are you about Phil? Um, if not, I might do kind of a, I was going to do a political one. I'm going to try and see if I could. You know, um, I've been watching Janine, um, Tara by Janine, and, um, and I've been doing a bit of remote viewing as well with, with doing it. So, I might give that a go in a minute after all the readings. Um, so I might, um, or I might just train myself into doing a bit more. I don't know. What do you think? Should I do some political readings? I'll have to watch what I say. <laughs> Otherwise I'll get closed down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's, uh, she's pretty good about uh, with her cards there. She's good. I like what she does. Yeah. Greg wants me to do it. Instead of a mum. Yeah, I've been following her for a while now. Mm. Okay, so Capricorn, guess what? You got the. Uh, I'm sorry. The Knight of Swords. This hard-charging, sharp-tongued person right there. And you've got the. Uh, princess of this uh, passionate young lady and then i'm thinking you notice here that she's got the tiger's tail is wrapped around her neck so that's where i i'm kind of going with this card right here the death card or transformation card um because he's he's using his scythe to cut uh, cords right he's and then and this is a cord is what i'm seeing here so what this tells me is that there may be, you may have to cut cords with somebody that uh, a personal relationship. Um, I'm not sure which one it is, the prince, the female character or the male character. It could be that <laughs> for those male Capricorns, you have to cut the the tie to the. Uh, earth sign uh, female that you're, you're dealing with and for the females you've got to cut the tide of the air signs um but it's transformation is what it this i'm not hearing that this is a like a sudden change like a death or anything like that that's not what this is about it's about cutting it's about cutting cords you're, you're going to have to cut some cords uh, in the first of the week so uh and and the thing is, some sometimes I want to I want to say this about cutting cords. Sometimes we need to cut those cords, even though we're going to have continue having a, a continuing relationship with somebody. And, and this is just to um, so you can renegotiate um, the terms, right? So you know, don't don't think just because you're cutting the ties to somebody uh, like a family member, let's say, uh, you know, maybe you need to do that so you can. Um, start anew that's what i'm what i'm i would say in that instance there so don't 
Yeah, there's there's something you need to renew renegotiate with somebody. Is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so uh, middle of the week, we've got the ten of discs. So wealth, abundance, things are uh, things are coming through, and um, we've got the six of swords. I think it is, yeah. Six of Swords, science card. So, um, if this is your, uh, this might be your job. Uh, you're, maybe you're going to be getting a promotion or an increase in, in pay, is what I'm hearing here. Um, yeah, keep your uh, mind sharp on, on, on the work. The science that you're the thing that you're trying to manifest here and that it will lead to wealth okay. then for the end of the week we've got the moon the knight of discs and the queen of swords So that's like just the uh, opposite of the cards for the first of the week. So this could be that you've, you've got a, what I'm hearing here is this, you may have a two different people that you're working with here. And uh, whichever one you choose in the end is going to be more mature and uh, helpful for you. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's. Yeah, okay, let me look at this again. Moon, 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 moon. Uh, yeah, so this, uh, okay, what I'm hearing here is this is, uh, you have to be careful here with, with these two characters because they they may be alluding, they may be painting a picture that isn't true. So watch out. Watch out for the, uh, these uh, authority figures of either the male or the female might be, you're less likely to get the, Delusion or stuff from the male, but you have to watch out for this female that she may may be bringing uh, deceit or uh, illusory uh, uh, illusory affair is what I'm hearing here. Yeah, so. I, you got you kind of want to watch out for the end of the week there that's um definitely a tap into your intuition about these people if you're, you're dealing with either one of these people um because there may be some deception uh, coming from them so uh yeah capricorn good luck to you <laughs> that's what i say <laughs> i'm sure you'll do brilliantly Capricorn um, yeah. you're very wise you've got wise energy around you so I can't see why you wouldn't suss them all out yeah so, hopefully they and, would. and sometimes it's like you know you can change things because you've been warned because you've kind of um, had that little nudge it's like you might not have seen it um, if you hadn't have um, had that nudge 
that little kind of um, confirmation, you know, watch out for this. So mm, yeah. yeah, I quite yeah. I quite like the thought that we can we can choose a different timeline by um, by being wiser sometimes. Oh yeah, definitely want to be try to be wise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there you go. Um, I'm because I'm going to go and do the Patreon readings. Um, the only reason why I was going to kind of like step in and do that was because I didn't know when Bill was going to come back. You see, so I thought, oh well, I'll, I'll fill the gap doing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Phil then came came back, and so I don't have to do that now. So I'm chickening out. Or I'm not. I'm not really. I'm just. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to pick a different deck of cards. And I'm going to um, basically teach myself to to read them in a um, a more political way rather than my usual ones. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And um, so I'll, it, it's coming. It's just it's not tonight. It's, yeah, I wasn't too sure because there's uses. Uh, it goes between a seven card draw and a nine card draw. So I'm not sure. She does the layout. She does. I'm not too sure. I'll probably do it my own way. I won't do it exactly like she does it. Um, it's just the tap pack of cards because I know my cards very, very well. I think it's probably better that I use a completely different pack um, that have each of the cards has a different meaning, um, like not a tarot reading. So it could be an oracle deck or something like that. So. Well, even uh, some tarot decks have got different interpretations because of different images they use and whatnot. Yeah. And I know that uh, the thought decks can be a little harsh, but it's it also can be blazingly accurate. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, um, Phil, thank you so much for doing this. It's wonderful. Oh, Don't forget to put your details in the chat. Um, so if anybody does want a reading with Phil, Phil does offer readings. Do you want to say what you offer and what you're what you're up to and what you're doing? Uh, well, I'm not up to much of anything here right now. I, like I said, I <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, just uh, email me, uh, philchris58 at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to do a reading for you. Um, I won't even charge you as much as I normally charge. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll call it a $15 <laughs> for a 12-card uh, uh, pull or 15-card pull. That, that would be... That's great. That's lovely. So I definitely take Phil up on the offer. He's, he's um, got a lot of intuition. And um, you've got um, you've got a, your twin flame is actually um, one of your guides, and you you channel through with her, don't you? Uh, a lot of the time, yeah, yeah. She's she mm -hmm. comes through. Uh, she's not really coming through right now, but uh, <laughs> I didn't really ask her to come in either. So, so she she only comes in when I ask. Yeah. So. It's wonderful. So, so yeah, um, you know, maybe, um, so it's philchris58 at gmail.com. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. If anybody would like a reading, please go to Phil and take him up on his offer of $15. That's a real, um, that's very cheap. So, you know, um, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be good. All right. And also you do Reiki, don't you? Phil. Yeah, Reiki session. Uh, that uh, is 33 because you yep. got to go through um, your chakras at least. Uh, yep. Plus, you know, whatever it is uh, that you're trying to heal. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I am going to be doing, um, I, I signed up through a, a different person, Yara. Uh, she's trying to set up a directory of healers for the, um, the people that are having problems with the the jab yes so i'm, I'm offering uh free uh one hour free for 
the first time for any of those people. So if you've got okay. a, an issue with with that, you know, contact me and I'll give you a free hour of Reiki healing. That's very generous. Very generous. So if anybody's had any issues with that um, Jabberwocky thing, yeah. Because uh, people are going to be very worried. I mean, the thing is, if they start to feel poorly, they might then look into things and think, I wish I'd read this and took more notice before I went for the for the jab. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, hopefully, I mean, there are, if, if that is you, if you're sitting there kind of worried about it, um, I will say that some of them are, you know, there's nothing in them. Do you sort of mean so they're not all the bad ones i think you know some people have got um you know maybe um what do they call them placebo ones so, right uh, salt water or something like that yeah you yeah. could you could have just got that okay so you know the, you know fingers crossed fingers crossed so you know okay i'm gonna leave it at that because i'm gonna go and do the other readings um, so I'm doing you reading in a minute. <laughs> so uh, you'll receive that, uh, Devon and uh, a few other people. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do as many as I can tonight. And then if I can't, I'll do it tomorrow. So, so is that going to be on Patreon that you're going to be doing? No, it's, it's directly to you. It'll go directly to you. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Take care, everybody. And um, I'll speak to you all very soon. And bye, Phil. Thanks a lot. Thank you for the opportunity to get on the tube here. <laughs> <laughs> you let me know when this gets posted to YouTube so I can add it to my, I can yeah, save definitely. stuff, save stuff to my. I could have said you could have recorded it, actually. I could have done that. That's silly of me, really. I could well, have... I mean, it wouldn't do me any good to record it because I can't. I just have to post it on Facebook or something like that. Right. So, yeah, let me know uh, when you when you either put it on your channel or uh, Greg's okay. channel. Um, Greg usually uploads it and does that. So, um, yeah. So, I'll, uh, yeah, when it comes out on there, then I can go to it and I'll save that as the card readings on my channel so there'd be something popping up there even though i right. can't actually do a video of my own on there i've been adding Definitely. like a disclosure or um if i come across something like that i'll save to that yeah i'm trying to get keep activity on that account even though they shut me down for creating anything <laughs> There's a way around it. I found out. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> All right, Phil. I'll, I'll catch up with you soon. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.